Hello? One moment, I'm coming. I just had to... Uh... Don't harm me. I just ate some eggs on toast the way like a fox would in the wild. Like a bird's just going... I'm so quick. <clears throat> Hold on one second, one second, one second. Let me... behind this morning. My apologies. <clears throat> it's disco day. It's the day of disco. Hey, check out my new fastest arriving headphones of all time. They're Sony. They're noise canceling. They fucking rock. They're so comfy on my ears. It feels like it feels like I'm getting a long, gentle kiss on either side of my head. But then also like they're singing, they're singing to me. Um wait, hold on. Ah. Um, so yeah, thank you, thank you very much again to the very 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 generous anonymous donor who made these headphones possible considering you got an autist the gift of noise canceling comfortable headphones i think you can probably like write that off on your taxes as like a charitable act or something um <laughs> it's disco day Hold on, I need to... I'm experimenting with just going into into game with face on game day. <laughs> kind of fun. These headphones are so comfy, man. <laughs> They're so good. I can play disco for hours. Connect me. Yes, Copas co Life shirt. Um, <clears throat> hold on, let me let me power them up. Oh, then oh, the noise canceling is so crazy. Oh, that rocks! I'm gonna talk so loud. I can like hear my own. What is like my, it's like in my head, but it's also like, wow, wow, what incredible tech. Bluetooth connected. Sav, do you think? They're so comfy. The children outside have been muzzled for real. I wore them. Um, um, so we have to hear the freaks in your neighborhood, but you don't. I wore them to the post office this morning. And I couldn't, like, it made the road so quiet. I'm like, oh my, I think I'm a headphone autist. I just, like, had, I had my wits about me. I felt great. I think I'm wearing these to the function, man. What is the headphone model? They're the, um, Sony, uh, Sony WH-1000XM5. Did you write that down? They're fucking great. So comfy. God, I wish I could put them on your head. You could feel. <clears throat> Det Villar has been here for two months. Thanks very much for your second month. Thank you, thank you. Welcome back in. Hello, Cola Camp. I've got better ones, mate. 
A knuckle crack has been redeemed. You can't believe you missed disco last night. It was a bit of a... It was a bit of improv. I wasn't really expecting to do any disco last night either. Oh my god. Um, 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 um. <laughs> Samuel Cousins has very kindly gifted a subscription to Anonymous Aussie, our beloved Doiler. That was very nice of you, thank you. I thought I had your schedule pegged and you threw a curveball. That is fair. I I mean I thought I had it pegged as well. Um I mean, my nose is running. I it seemed good though to do one later wild card day during the week. Why are you pegging the schedule? Well, because I not that no one comes to the Saturday streams, but they're certainly less frequented. And it would be nice just to keep my weekends free. So if we move um, the Saturday stream during the week, and then also I wanted one at a different, in a different time slot, so people who can't make the 1 to 5 one can come. And it seemed to work pretty well. Some happy campers, for sure. Um... But yes, perhaps we need to leave the game day game strictly for game days so people don't miss it. Yeah, so no no stream this weekend indeed. I think we're going to keep it during during the Lord's work week. At least for now. It might change again. Just seeing what works best. Um okay. No streaming on the Sabbath. What do I need to do? Close this. New Declan McKenna song out today. Sympathy, won't you come blow breath? And it's a burner. Hold on. Okay. Bug is here with me. You cannot see her. Hello, Nemo. Let's, let's just get it started. Put me in. I'm gonna move you a little closer. Tilt me. Hello, Pinkus TV. Oh yeah, really looking forward to reading Fern Brady's book. Yeah, me too. I like her a lot. Um, shit. Don't look. <laughs> why do I always do this? I don't even know why I did that that time. Juice me, squeeze me, roll me, freeze me. Oh wait, you can't fucking see. That's why. I... Br head empty, no brain? Hold on. Sorry, sorry. We looked at nothing. Ah, don't look. You're so blessed, she forgot how to see. Okay, so we did accomplish, if you if you missed the disco yesterday, we uh, the last thing we did, we accomplished an incredible feat. Um, he is now wearing a fuck the world jacket. Pretty fucking cool. 
Kim did not want to wear the jacket, no. Um, upsetting that there's a possibility that he could have, and I like flubbed it. But hey ho, we're still looking pretty fly. You need suggestion 10. Here's where we're at. Um, we have a skill point. I would like actually to unlock a new thought. Um, I mean, we do, I, I, I'm going for homosexual underground next, I'm not gonna lie. Did you just try to lean out the way of skills? No. <laughs> I recommend trying the call box on the square before doing more church stuff. If you say so. What we need to do today, I think I, I need to make a call from my kinema. We've got a couple calls to make actually. Inside, you see a set of steering levers, a radio microphone, a pull-out toolbox, and Precinct 57, how may I assist you? Um... <laughs> my kinema? I've been heading for the homosexual underground since I was 17. Station 41's Lazarus? It will take just a Her voices fade out. <laughs> Gottlieb, what do you want? Hello. Gottlieb? He's carelessly chewing on a piece of hard candy. I'm in a bad way, Doc. A real bad way. Oh, it's you. I think I was maybe sp supposed to make this phone call a while ago, and I forgot. Was that a snarl or a suppressed groan? No love for you here. <laughs> Doc, someone broke my heart. Look, pal, getting pumped and dumped is not a disease. Excuse People me? All the time. <laughs> you should be happy for her. Hey, I don't get, I don't get pumped and dumped. I pump and dump. Pumped and dumped? Uh, that's what the guy said. Oh no. That some chick pumped you and then uh, dumped you. I'm gonna you die? Like an empty <laughs> juice cart. What are you talking about? You must have me confused for a close personal friend. I am, not, I am. <laughs> I am a medical professional with a constant idiot emergency on my hands. I am the one who pumps. One needs tending to right now, he thinks. Look at you hear someone whine in the background. My eye, Doc, my eye. I've lost my memory. With all the damage you've been dealing yourself. There is no surprise <sighs> in his voice. What else? I'm not a brain doctor. He doesn't want Look to help the bright you. side. It's hard to say if he doesn't believe you or doesn't care. And then that motherfucker got left, reeking of snaps ordered me into his butcher's room. Officer Fisher, and so he removed my appendix on the spot Whoa. while the party was still on in the other room. And I was delirious with pain. Only a month later, that when got I can stitch. Him, did I find out that he had no recollection of the Oh event. my god. That's got leap for you. In league with some devil, he is. I'm sure of it. Cheers. This guy's so cool. The clinking of beer glasses is drowned in group conversation. Isn't there anything you can do? What? You want me to do blood work for you again? Tell you just how bad things really yes, are. Yes, I want the truth. The you want the real, honest to God truth? Stop drinking, eat magnesium and vitamin D. So it's political. You're being neglected because of political reasons. I knew it. And no, I don't want to hear a political commentary on the topic. In fact, I got work to do. Some idiot has glued his eyelids shut with cyanoacrylate. It looks like Mectorsen. <laughs> it's not fucking cryoacolate. <laughs> it's super glue, Doc. Cryoacolate? Um, it's Firewalker? Firewalker? Do exactly that. Put yourself out of your misery. 
A glorious sight. Your body. Tired from the vastness of the visions that haunt. I see third degree burns and a referral to a plastic surgeon whom you won't be able to afford. I think I've but had a heart attack. And you survived it. Even better. Anything else? Accept it. <sighs> Your body is an This wasn't a very productive Objects conversation, was it? Do what? Mm -hmm. Well, I Anything did it. Anything else I can help you with, officer? I think I need to call the reported dead body. One moment. Can you please describe the body? Age, sex, cause of death? An unidentified middle-aged man. Looks like he slipped, fell through a hole. The man was about 173 centimeters Fell down centimeters an infinite hole. Stout, with dark hair and a mustache. Pump the world. We suspect he might have been inebriated when he slipped. There were bottles all around him. Any signs of violence? Seems like an accident. No field the top necessary. You can hear her quickly typing in the background. Oh my god, she's me. What about his belongings? Did you examine his clothes? The hole so big it could swallow an elephant. He had a library card? Any information on the library card? It's from the library. Good. Do you and Lieutenant Kitsuragi want to take the case or should I assign it to someone else? She's cute. I like her little voice. We're we're taking it. I have assigned the case to Lieutenant Kim Kitsuragi. Please follow up on this library lead to identify. Hey, why didn't you assign it to we'll me? Send someone to take the body to the morgue. My name's Harry. That's all for now. Thank you for reporting in. Is there anything else I can do for you? I'm gonna call the library to see what they... I'm afraid they're closed. Excuse me? The library is open from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Fuck's sake. These, these f funding cuts. We should try again during business hours. Anything yeah. else, detective? Thank, thanks, Sherlock. 57, over and out. In the cabin, you see... Okay. I'm gonna, um... I'm having a thought. Tremble. The time is now. Taola. Excuse me? What? Time for the show. For Taola. The hallowed time of fear and disintegration. A countdown has begun. All will collapse on itself. The world would disappear into a single grain of blackness. All sound will be muted. All life will scream. That's exciting. What's that? Ulogu Oh. Xino Zausin. Ipoli Osidian. Echondes Fronisin. Jarvis, translate. When did this countdown begin? Monday morning, <laughs> the moment you arrived in this reality, are the first crack in the sheer face of God. From you it will spread. Well, yeah, I'm doing it. Yes, you spoke the words of the All right. All right. and the houses of Pericarnassus. Items, people, even words will tumble. All will lose its meaning in the coming years. I'm... That is why you marked yourself. I'm a little afraid. So you should be. The world, perhaps. Just a thought. This has something to do with the hangover. Shut up, Volition. Am I sure it's not just like a joke? It's totally also <laughs> a coping mechanism. Well, I'm opting in. The face of the woman fractures. Oh. There will be herd killing. We all become vapor. We all become vapor, man. I'm always saying that. Well, that's exciting. Well, so yeah, I was gonna do Homosexual Underground, but now obviously I'm tempted by Cop of the Apocalypse. I need some, um... I would like some more skill points. I also want Wompty Dompty Dom Center, oh my gosh. How is one- how is a girl to choose? So many thoughts, so little skill. Um... I did- we have to go talk to Evrart. We can do that before we cross the bridge. Still need to talk to the Hardy boys. Have to go talk to the boys in the tent. And I have to put the locusts back in the trap. Jesus. 
I'm busy. Um. All right. I did find the tape. Yes, I, I redid the tape check. Well, okay. Well, then first, actually, I need to get some some uh, Tylenol, <laughs> or else I'm gonna freaking die. All equally important tasks for a cop, indeed. All treated with the same amount of gravity. Hello, miss. Um, is this about the questions again? Because I don't really know. No, sorry. What's in this? You see several packaged raincoats filled Aww. a low shelf beneath a dis- The packages are small, discreet. <laughs> Sloppily stacked, making them easier to take unnoticed. How haven't I clicked on this no yet? No need to worry about knocking over a display. What's that? What is what? I have not fixed um, the tape yet. It's a raincoat. God, you got such a you got such a shitty little attitude, don't you? If you want to buy one, then it's only. Her attention is drawn to the raincoats. That's very cheap. Stealing one undetected will now be more difficult. I'm still gonna try and steal it. The girl delves into the magazine, hair covering her face. I'm gonna slip it up Vision. my sleeve. Oh no. I said don't let it fall out. Um, did you? No. It looks a little sad as it lies in the dusty floor. I mean, I didn't just see a middle-aged man try to steal a Fort Royale raincoat, did I? No, you didn't. I didn't do it. Really? <laughs> a plastic poncho? Ah. Kim, it's a raincoat. A plastic poncho. That is embarrassing. The clerk stares it. I mean, it doesn't. E Fucking with Frick is dangerous, you know. I'll Just, buy yeah. it. Buy it, please. Don't steal it. Stop. Sorry, I'm sorry. A wrong has been made right. <laughs> Phew. Um. The the medi a small medicine. small on the wall is filled with various medicine bottles, nasals. Okay. 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 Here. I hope Saint Batiste makes you feel better or something. I like, I know this is plus three, but I kind of like just the single shots. Okay. 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 Here. I hope Saint Batiste makes you feel better or something. We're ready to go. Oh, the three packs are just cheaper. They don't heal in packs of three. I'm stupid. Now I know for next time. I think I need some, um... What do I have? I've got some speed, of course. What's my drug of choice at the moment? I, I, should, I should be carrying my ledger of failure and hatred around at all times. Um... What do I have? That's alright, I'll get a- I need ciggies. That's what. Overdosing on magnesium. A colorful display of- Again, I'm obliged to inform you that both alcohol and cigarettes damage your health. Give me- give me the Astra. Here you go, mister. Thank you, madame. Okay, now we're ready for the day. I feel- I feel locked and loaded. It's raining. Time to put on my poncho. <laughs> Obviously, I'd like to continue wearing the fuck the world jacket. Oh my god, he's he's Jonas Convald. Sic mundus creatus est. Pretty cute. <laughs> Jonas Park. <laughs> my visor so the rain doesn't drip into my eyes all right now we're ready we can there do you smell that smell what can you not detect that inimitable whiff? can you smell it now yes you inhale the cilia along your olfactory epiphany oh so yellow 
All this second. yellow. As they sift first come the smells of the agitated strike breakers. Layers of body oil and sweat. Everything in order, detective? I'm I'm sniffing for communists. You're smelling for you know what? I'll just leave you to it. Carry on, detective. Thank you, brother. It is a mark of the lieutenant's respect <laughs> for you that he does not press you on this decidedly extracurricular. He's finally area. learning my, my methods are strange. But effective. The lieutenant lacks your highly developed <laughs> political olfactory cortex. From Mignana! Yes. Now. I knew it. Come here, you son of a bitch. I knew I liked you. Hola, wandering man. How can I help you? Brother, there's something I gotta talk to you about. What's that, boy? Yeah? You're stinky. Now's your chance. Remember, communists. Are notoriously skittish, so it's best to insinuate your way in. Of course. I um I'm not gonna say I'm looking well okay, I'm I'm looking for some people who know how to really grind a sausage, if you know what I mean. Hmm. Have you tried a butcher shop? It uh revolutionary implications. Could be coming from one of the jam lorries. Carlos sitting out for a while. <clears throat> okay. Maybe it's time to abandon. The subtle approach. I am looking for communists. Ah, now I see. Can't say I'm surprised. You seem to take your communism seriously. Not a bad thing, man. Oh, he certainly likes to take his time with things, <laughs> especially when politics are at issue. So you've given up copying and now you're hunting communista. Care to say why? I'm I'm on sort of a quest to develop my political potential. A fellow planes roamer in search of greater understanding. Oh my god. A classic story. Me and Manana are kindred spirits. Two ships passing in the night. I wish I could help. Unfortunately, I don't know many communistas. Aren't you smell like one? Didn't realize you could smell communism. But then I've never studied the subject. He doesn't like that. He doesn't like my superpower. You can smell all sorts of things. Fear. Maybe it's not taught in any of yours. Ah, but you know, I did meet a genuine ideologue a few months Ooh. ago. You know, a guy with a theory. <laughs> Someone who likes to pitch his I'm an theory ideologue. against other theories in deadly theory combat. How'd you meet him? It was late one night as I was leaving the armor. He was waiting on the corner and he asked me for a light. We shared cigarettes. Then he asked me if I ever thought about getting into <laughs> some of the extra physical branches It sounds of like he's trying to recruit you to the homosexual underground. I don't think so, Boya. I took it to mean he was asking me to join some sort of underground This section. guy is so unfazed. I feel like I could say anything to Mignon and he'd be like, Oh, I don't know. Maybe. A very old school organizing technique. The sort of thing communistas used to do before the revolution. What do you tell him? The same thing I always tell people who try to press some claim on me. I said, every boyadero rides alone. Murkrier's here! Hello. How do I find this guy? He is, he, yeah. Kim coded. I like, yeah. This archetype of guy. He's like, sort of clever, easygoing. Cause I guess he's obviously a bit more free-spirited than Kim. But just, um, a, a basedness for sure. I couldn't tell you. Once I declined his offer, we finished our cigarettes and he disappeared back into the night. Just before he melted into the sh Remember Dobrava and Abba Danais. Ah. And then he was gone. I agree, Kim is sexier. For the record. Who's that? I don't know. Guess not everyone remembers. What do you think it means? Been wondering about that myself. Some communista inside talk to me. Not meant for the white. I have to say, though, it sounds like you found mm. yourselves a proper hunt. The man whispers a joke. All right. That's interesting, for sure. I'm gonna pop this bubble. <laughs> I know I need to go talk to Everard. I'm just like, it's such a long walk that it makes me want to die. I almost like don't even want to do that right now, but I'm here. I'm here, I might as well. And he might want me to do something else, so I'll just go. Um, have you seen that tweet about Kim and the anal beads? No? What do I look like, a pervert? We'll go the long way. Here, can I just click? Oh, amazing. And then he'll just go.
Be right back. I need to investigate some rice. <laughs> Oh, my, the, the container? <laughs> Fond memories of the container? Hey, buddy. How's it hanging? Long time no see. Oh, hey, mister. I'm not gonna bother you with a long greeting, just like we talked about before. I Aww. know you're probably a busy, busy man being an important police officer and all. Yo. And personally, I think the more people keeping the peace, the better. Murkrier, I did get into the container. You missed a lot. The container... So I got, like, soft-locked at the end of day two because I didn't have enough money for my room, but then when I tried to sleep in the trash, I kept dying. <laughs> or no, I died once. And there was no... Like, we exhausted all means and methods and ways of me getting fucking ten dollars um and so the only we save scummed yeah hobo cop soft lock we save scummed with the container for a while so i could get the the impossibly rich man's funding it was a it was a good little sequence to be sure hello sean kong are you are, are you leo oh yes yes i leave all kinds of notes for myself that old head of mine ain't so good at keeping- What's that about the borscht? Oh yes, I've been taking special whirling borscht to the men every day since the strike. It's very, very good. Makes a man feel so warm and happy. <laughs> I feel like I could take on Mr. Renadan's boar dogs every time the lunch is done. For striking? Yes, yes. I'm taking it to them. The borscht keeps them happy and in fighting <laughs> spirits. Makes you all warm inside. Who? They I know, it. it's the oh, chef. the whirlings cook. He makes it. Them is always talking with Mr. He's Manana friends with Manana. Laughing together. I'm gonna look into it. Oh, sure, Mister. Sure. You do that. Yes, sir. Nice. He didn't actually understand what you meant. And now he's just not That's fine. Hello, Everard, you son of a bitch. I did what you asked for. Except not really, it was a trick. I did a little trick. Yes, of course. Now we're on the right track. Oh my god. Communist Everard? It smells like we're getting crates and pallets calling to mind. Vast stands of winter. The whole place could probably use a good fire. Smelling much communism around the Union Basis office. Hush, Kim, I'm detecting. Meanwhile, Everard Clare clatters away on his typewriter, willfully. I'm having another thought. That's not a fishing rod, is it? It's... What? What do you mean? It's not a fishing rod. I don't understand the in implications. Mr. Dubois, I hear the meeting with Titus was a glowing success. That's such a relief. Titus can be a handful sometimes. There's a huge fly in here. Is that a fishing rod in your pocket? Sorry, bug. I don't know where it went. Hi, sweet girl. You're so sweet. What a sweet baby. Oh my god, this fly is gonna bother me and bug unless I get it out of here. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, whatever. It's fine. Insect canceling headphones, indeed. I do not think Everett would be a cool guy to have a sleepover with. I think he'd be the kid at the sleepover that is like, it's tomorrow now. Got it, got it. Ha 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 ha. Go. It's out. They call me a cryptozoologist. I sleep there as disco, I wake there as disco. Now, what can Everett Claire do for you today? I don't like that he is referring to himself in the third person. Him and Kuno should hang out. Um 
There's a mega rich light bending guy inside that container. Mega rich light bending guy? Oh my god. How did that <laughs> get in there? <laughs> That's pretty funny. He he must have been in the container when someone closed the door. Damn it to hell, Harry. <laughs> I specifically told my guys to check all the containers for mega rich light bending guys. Kim tell him he was in there? Nothing can stop an innovative mind. Honestly, Harry, we might be moving all See kinds of suspicious things through this harbor, but I won't be caught transporting the light bending mega rich. I have a reputation to protect. Uh he gave me stock tips. <laughs> he amassed his wealth using the mysterious bond of nationhood. See you later, Samuel Cousins. We get XP from leftist lines. We do. Take down the proletariat and get free HP. I gotta be true to myself. Not take now. For God's sake, you're a socialist. You're right, Harry. I Got am it. a socialist. I'm going to catch the mega rich guy inside the <laughs> container and ha <laughs> I shudder to think what you're going to tell me next, Harry. I'm looking for a cell of underground communists. Can you help Mr. me? Mr. Dubois, really? Do I look like a man who He's got you there. You've got to be 10 or 12 meters up, at least. Well, he's so tall. That's all you're going to get out of him. Now, was there anything else Damn you it. to discuss today? I mailed your shady signatures. The golden boy returns once more. Wonderful. Simply wonderful, Harry. My friend, the mailman... Fuck yeah! Confirms ...the letter is on its way. You've done a great thing today. You've given the children of Martinez a future and proven to be a true man of the left. I can find you're in my inner Thank circle. Thank you for your blessing. You too, Mr. Kitsuragi. Oh my god, we're in his inner circle. We can circle. talk about anything. The strike, oh, the amazing. murder, your- Oh, Bratan, you play the old man like a three-string banjo. He has no idea. He has no idea. Better not to gloat, sire. Tis arrogance that gives the play away. Of course. Be subtle. Of course. Of, of course. Can I get my gun? Harry, I've got to be honest with you. Your gun was found two <gasps> days ago. Withholding this information weighed heavily on me. But it had you to be You bastard! Done. Where is it? An old woman has it, and let me tell An you, An old Harry, woman? This must be the woman who bought the gun from Roy. The one- Yes, the same one. I see you've done your research. The hmm. pawn shop made the gun- Union boy's gonna help you fix it. He winks at you. Don't worry, Harry. Is that is it the crime lord? The neighbors of this old woman contacted my men because they trust me and the debar Waving the gun around doesn't sound good. <laughs> None of this does. I would never do anything like that. She was waving it around. If As I said, she's a character. I didn't have time for details. It sounds like she's unstable, but don't worry. No one got hurt. You never did this in your playthroughs? Uncharted Pale? It sounds like a very disturbed and Who is Unfortunately, this? Unfortunately, I don't know anymore. You're there it is. She calls again. herself the pigs? The pigs? Yeah. I, for one, find it huh. refreshing. Finally, someone calls themselves a pig. Kim, you've got a you've got a killer sense of humor. And a great wit about you. It actually sounds extremely bad, <laughs> but let's not give him the satisfaction. Can we have a meeting? I already have. Tonight, starting oh. 10 o'clock, oh. near the old fish market Ooh. on the coast, the one on the boardwalk. Oh my god, a meeting. The fishing village. Be careful, Harry. I would never set you up for anything dangerous. Tonight at 10. She, did... she will be there from 2200 hours till 0200 hours. She's going to wait there for me for four hours? <laughs> she can't be that scary. Most of the time this shit happens, they're like, and be there at 10, sharp. So yeah, I'll be there a few hours just wandering around. More fun stuff. Seems like we already have fun stuff to do. The, um, you plan to force him out with the construction Harry, noise. by now, you should know hmm? I would never do anything tricky like that. Well, let's just say there'll be freshly renovated buildings near the roundabout 
where those poor people can finally enjoy a significant up. He proudly spreads his hands to demonstrate the size of the palaces. They're very large. His hands are big enough to kill an so elephant. The village is doomed. You were there. You saw the place. A wasteland. There's nothing left. But Mark reset. I have big plans for Martin Ains. And they do parry. Imagine a youth center supermarket church complex. Yeah. <laughs> employing hundreds. No. It's called the YMCA. People. The coast will be lit up with enterprise and life. Harry, enough is enough. We're taking this district back. The war was 50 years ago, for God's sake. It's time to move on. Youth supermarket church complex? Yes, I do. I got the center. I got room for a retail complex. And in four years, I'll get the church too. The wheels are already turning, Harry. There is true indignation in his voice when he speaks about the state of things. And then there will be a giant statue of him towering above it all. We will erect a statue of yourself? I'm not a symbolist, Harry. I'm a realist. <laughs> I My am. statue will be Martinez rebuilt. I knew you were up to something. Damn right I'm up to something, Harry. I'm going to make a working man as rich as Joyce Messier. That's my job. Just like yours. A true flash of anger in him as he thinks of her. Did you order the hanged man killed? Order it? You know my men didn't kill him. They told you. It was a happy accident. You know how it is. No one takes the initiative. I'm going to ask if him why he's so fat. Dead, just I because. I do it myself. And I'm too fat for that. Well, because I can't. Glad you asked. <laughs> I've got type 2 diabetes because sugar and fat was all my mother had to give me and my brother Edgar when we were kids. Ah, uh, a tragic backstory. Good job too, as it made me ugly. And ugly people, Harry, are much better at politics. That's probably true. He's got a point. That is true. People don't trust pretty people. That's why Justin Trudeau is a bit... Knew he was up to no good. What do you gain from him being dead? Why a war, of course. And what do you have to gain from a war? Victory, Mr. Kitsuragi. I have victory to gain. Harry, we outnumber them 1,500 to 1. Oh my and god. Just There's going to be a big conflict. The more they send, the worse it's going to look for them. They made a huge mistake. Harry, there is no strike. He talks so war. much. Class war. Or in business, we're not going to give nothing. We're going to take Terminal B away that from them. Big crane. The, red the word fuck rings like a gunshot <laughs> from his mouth. He doesn't swear often. I didn't even let him say it. Sorry, brother. So that's why you haven't met Joyce in? Yes. It's also why I let that midget Gormont go. He's too nice. I can't put him <laughs> through this. Plus... He knows how to get in here. That woman can't tell her tits from her asshole. She has no chance. <laughs> That's cutting. Wow. What? Tits from her asshole. <laughs> That's a local saying. Uh, I haven't heard that one. Actually, before. no, it's not. Why are you telling me your plans? Because we're friends, Harry. They don't even Besides, look. It doesn't matter. A now. little similar. You can go tell her if you want. It won't change the course of events. It's already happening. Who killed him? No idea. Could have been his own mother for a guy, huh? How do you know it's a guy? I don't. I told you it could have been his own mother. I'm pretty sure it wasn't 2372. Plus yours truly, of course. That's a lot. Oh, you mean what sort of goods are going to be flowing through? We've been running back channel negotiations with all the major clients. With renewed zeal sparked by communal ownership, the men will be shipped. Okay. That's drugs. That's Drug drugs. Trafficking. That's drugs. Drug trafficking? Don't be stupid, Mr. Kitsuragi. There are perfect... All they do is... He just called Kim colonialist? The pharmaceutical industry running. That's people's health we're talking about. Old grannies, little babes, people with disabilities. <laughs> digging it up, bro? Do I have to say I'm digging this part? I mean, that's just the tip of the iceberg, The though. company thinks transporting these chemicals in bulk looks bad. Has bad optics. Maybe illegal in some countries. We're gonna transport the living daylights out of those materials, Harry. 
And the kids on the street can get speed and pirelli done. Yeah. I'm an old-fashioned guy, Mr. Kitsuragi. I sometimes grab a... But if I were to supply ingredients for some sort of rainbow party, <laughs> I would make sure the union took a fantastic share. And I'd keep that stuff far away from Martin A's. Is Ruby helping you? Harry, if I was supplying... Understood. Drugs are a no-go for me, I'll report this. I mean, that's a well put together plan. Does keep it out of more dangerous hands. He's he's sort of a I mean we've talked, he's a bit irritating, but he's competent. Hey. Uh, uh, uh. Oh Harry, you've misunderstood. I have any anyway, I, I should have said the far removed on the thing. Sensationalism of the drug trade. This hypothetical drug trade is all anyone ever seems to be in. Go Let's on. look at the big picture. Martin A's as a whole. There are little girls out there with dreams of making music. <laughs> Young mothers Excuse who me? want to start businesses. I'm going to unite them all into one economic body. We're going to incorporate. Let's keep focusing on the drug trade. He was almost admitting to it. Hold on. Drugs. No, no, Harry. That's boring. Boys. It's Harry gone. felt queasy about it. We're not doing it. Can we talk about my beautiful incorporated Martin A's and its many-sided business ventures now? <laughs> this bold new vision of incorporated socialism I'm offering. <sighs> it's very ambitious. Thank you, Harry. Thank you. <laughs> you have no idea how much it means can to Can I me ask you about specific we're way union members? Specific union members. You can bother Leonard with that. There's something different about He's in big-time mode. He's more vibrant, more alive in his big-time mode. Hello, Thrice. All right. Great, Harry, great. I think we have truly... This has been so great. I'm sorry we don't have more fun things to do together. <laughs> oh, my gosh. But if you ever feel like bouncing He has so much me, to say. My door is always open. And it exhausts me. I don't know what I haven't asked him yet. Let's hear it, Harry. I might, um... Do you know where I live? But of course, Harry. He doesn't really seem to know any more about it. <laughs> well, Harry, if I were to sum you up in one word, it would be apologetic. I'm sorry? <laughs> yes. You seem to be. Of course, Harry, of course. Um, I'm looking into your wrong. shady room. I don't know what that means, Harry. You know what? Don't even tell He sincerely has no idea what you would- He's kind of based, I've decided. I appreciate a man so confident in his operation that he does not even care what the fuck I am talking about. That's great. Big Pharma is based? Uh, if you're the guy running it. <laughs> if you're the guy who gets to live in the Big Pharma house. This is pretty good for you. Get me out. I hate this place. This is my least favorite game location. It's so, like, empty. It takes forever to walk. Keep it going. He's just a fat man that always sounds like he's lying. That's what I, mean. I think what you see is what you get. With Mr. Claire. Have I... What's in here? The farm cabinet stands steady as ever. Yeah, the whatever. Drawer. Take me out. It is a first time playthrough. I'm thoroughly enjoying myself. Yeah, portraying Everett in the slimiest way possible and Joyce in the nicest, most charming way was a genius move. Indeed. And if it wasn't abundantly clear, I, I completely fell for it. <laughs> I had the exact intended reaction. I was like, I'm going to marry Joyce. <laughs> and this grease ball... 
yeah, really annoying. You can't fast travel in and out of the harbor. Okay, well that was illuminating. Sorry, it's kind of loud in my ears. Confront the pigs at- yes, we have a meeting tonight. Find the phasmid. We, um, Big Pharma got me rizzed up. Okay, let's, um, it's still before noon, so I can do some tasks here before we go. Oh, absolutely. Puts a spotlight on how much personal appeal determines our ability to judge characters. 100%. That's almost the only defining factor. <laughs> oh, you can call the library. Good call, good call. Inside, you see a set of steering levers, a radio microphone, a pull-out tool. This is precinct 57. How may I assist you? The library? Hold on. Okay, I've got Central Jamrock Public Library on the line, and I've already introduced you to their librarian. Connecting the code in two. The call box volition One. check will do. Yes, this is Central Jamrock Public Library here. Hello. How can I help you, officer? You've got a pleasant little tone about you. I'm looking for a dead man. He sounds worried, yet ready to it. Billy. Billy Majon, you said. Give me a moment. I'll have to check our database. Thank you, sir. On Moreau Drive in Central Jamrock. In a darkened hall, lit by orange desk lamps, far away from the... Yes, hello, are you still there? I found Billy Majan's home address, is that alright? No phone number, unfortunately. I'm not really good with addresses. Imagine you're trying to help the police and they say some insano shit like that. You're like, oh... Here we go, sir. Rue de saint Gislaine, 33B, apartment number 20. Oh. It's in Martinez, I believe. I know that place. That's where the smoker on the balcony yeah. is, isn't it? Anything else? It says here that they returned their last book just a few days ago, but I wasn't at work that day. Do you know someone who was? Marie? That's just up the road. Marie? Do you remember a reader named Billy Majon? They returned it. Maurice, what? <laughs> a woman yells. Don't be mean to Maurice. Then. Yes, it, it was my colleague Marie. Uh, she said that it was Billy's husband who returned the book. He also asked for this new sci-fi release, Lowe's Radio City 87. But we don't have it yet. So Billy, am I is, is just am I being homophobic? <laughs> is that the implication? Do you know the husband? Sorry, no. Marie only knows him by sight. Well, I'll say Marie it. knows Billy. She's and then goes for a little. Oh, later. I see. Billy oh, Magine no. is not my lover. <laughs> Billy Magine is not my. Marie. Lover. She said it was an older man. And that, uh, one second. Sorry, Marie wasn't really paying any attention to that. Well, can you make her pay attention? Thank you. Happy we could help. Goodbye, officer. Goodbye, sweet librarian. Anything else you need from me? It's not the homosexuals. Okay, I'm done. In the cabin. Goodbye. I'm going to go to the call box. Come along, Kim. I've got some silly tasks to do. An old call box with a matrix of push buttons lists all the companies. I'll save, I'll Delta save. Center. I'll do as I'm bloody well told. Save. A good cop is a good cop always is keeping keeping one eye out. An old call for the homosexual underground indeed. No. Hold on. The last Damn it. Thing we... Reload me. <laughs> I've gotten. This is An a bit. Old call box I think I've said matrix. that no. save scumming hold is on. not in my nature, and it's not. But now I feel like so competent at the game that I'm like, I need to min max the shit out of this. I'm never failing another check ever again. An old call box with a make no. All right, oh. except for that one, but that was the last one for sure. <laughs> the natural progression of things. Homosexual sniffer. Do I have volition clothes? I don't know anymore. I just don't know. Volition, volition, volition. 
the armor body. Nice. And what's, um, yeah. I need to learn. I don't know what drugs do what. I keep forgetting. Volition. I can't see. Volitions in Psyche, which is controlled by cigarettes, I think. Loading a failed check will return the same outcome? That doesn't seem true. <laughs> Cigarette isn't. What's Psyche? Hold on. My, my Prolodon. Sniff me. Predetermined rules, Monka has. Okay. Old call box with a matrix of push buttons. We got it. List all the Whatever she says, it can't hurt you. You're a different person now. All right. Maybe not healthier, but it's a bonus that you've drunk so hard you Call can't remember. Again. There's a light buzz as you press the doorbell, waiting. It's for not what I'd call a light call. buzz. A strange metallic taste fills your mouth. There's the static again, whispering like a seashell pressed against the air. Yes, hello. This is Tricentennial Electric. Have you come to place an order? It's me again. I wanted to talk to you. Here come the bad vibes again. Relax. Distance yourself from it. I just want to explain myself. Wait. Is she... Didn't you already say that last time we talked? Michelle, just please. Why did you really call? I don't understand. You've been gone for months. Do you think it's funny deceiving a police care. officer? The voice from the intercom. Your hands are getting cold, and your breathing becomes visible. Ever since I came to work here, it's been as if, as if my mind's been wiped clean. Hang up. It's so nice. It's so nice to be able to finally forget about you. And then it hits you. She's such a. She's so quirked up. You're recording. She tries again not to cry, and still doesn't. Real or not, your mirror neurons react. It feels painful. <laughs> Kim, <laughs> Kim is a little close. <laughs> Kim, you're inside me. Apartment building ghost Gia. Anger whirls up in your chest. Why does it still feel like it's my fault? Her sound melts into the static from a long distance phone call. This is where you hung up the call the last time, but the recording is still going. Very esprit de corps. Keep listening. The phone rings in the office with an old fashion. No one replies, but the static grows stronger. For 300 years, I have been here. Volatile and luminous, made of sodium and rain. Les Miserables? If you want me, you can find me on the beach. So. Yeah, what the heck? It was a recording trapped in the circuitry from some ancient tenant. This sometimes happens. This sometimes happens? So we conclude here. We have other mysteries to solve. Oh, wait. Mm -hmm. I don't have time to I explain, have time it, to to explain right it to you. Maybe sometime later. The, 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 I mean, the physics of this world are tainted by, like... An unknowable matter called the pale. So I imagine just, just, you know, recordings get stuck. Something weird Don't just take happened. This the wrong way, but during our short stint working <laughs> together, something weird is almost always happening to you. He's just like me, for real. That is true. Yes, but what was the other voice? My wife? Well, that was weird. I have no explanation for what just happened to me. 
Hold on one moment. I'm, um... I'm going to go to the bathroom and run a little ad. And I think open up my other double shot espresso. I'll be right back, okay? Oops. One moment, please. Don't say Kim's soaking. You guys know that sometimes when I do a break, I'll like get a snack really quick and just watch the chat while I'm eating my snack. Or a chat friend. <laughs> Oh no. Damn right, oh no. I'm watching, always watching. You see a set of tire tracks in the brown slush that covers the plaza mosaic. My visual calculus isn't great, huh? It is a good game, yeah. An absolute banger. Visual... Visual calculus. Let me just put my glasses on. You see a set of tire tracks in the brown slush that the tire nice. tracks were left here by an unknown event that took place some days ago. It's a message. Just calculate written better. In the language of burnt rubber. My nails are too long. How did I open the last one? Ah. 
start, crash, reverse, turn. It's like bad science diagrams. Some of that rubber stuck to the tiles right in front of the whirling in rags. This is point A. Is this me? Did I do this there, as well? And then accelerated straight into the fence. The driver proceeded to back out of the yard. Did I they kill the guy? In the adjacent building. Did I kill him? Hold on, don't answer that. Before heading south. Must have been in a hurry. Yes, it is. Well, you did provide us with a very convenient access point to the crime scene. That would be one hell of a twist. Uh. <laughs> yes, 100%. I have not played the game. Okay. We could, um... I need to fix the tape before I give it back to Egghead. Oh, I can go to Billy Magine's apartment. <laughs> that is a funny name. And I can also go rough up Titus. I'll save that later. I don't feel like, or for later rather, I don't feel like I need to do that right now. I'll go check out the apartments. Hello, little girl. Hello, sir. Step right in. The store is open. Oh, I don't think I've even talked to her yet. Hello. Are you interested in a new and exciting book? What kind of a store is this? It's a bookstore, sir. Oh. We sell books, postcards. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold your horses, little girl. What's a book? That is a book. They have stories inside them. Thanks. My pleasure. Anything else you'd like to know? Gained experience. Know what the book is? Okay, sir. I'll try to answer any questions you have. I hope they're about- What's My your name? My name is Annette, sir. My Feel free to step in and browse our wares. Why are you standing out in the cold? I'm signalling that the store is open. Other A sudden gush of wind turns the pages of the books on the counters. You're cold, can she I help? help? Kind of you to offer, sir. What could you do to help her anyway? i give her a little coat or something. I could help by brutally dismantling the Thank free you, market. Sir. I'm glad to help Mum out with the store. Shouldn't you be at school? I do my studies at home at the moment. I have to help mum keep this place running. It's day four and you haven't even talked to Annette. Um, yeah, fair. <laughs> I think in the first, in my like first fake playthrough, I talked to her a little bit and it didn't, it wasn't that exciting for me. So I just didn't do it at all this time. There's an art point in this dialogue, but it's not intuitive. Is it school is stupid? Mum says it's necessary to do both. There is strict. Mum says it's peachy. She was a little afraid at first. There's talk about this house being cut. Behind her, the window has been boarded up. You I sense still... the boards creaking, <laughs> twisting for a second, and some kind of doubt in her tense shoulders. I haven't, it's in the talk about crime fiction. I haven't even been in the doomed commercial area yet. I should probably do that, eh? Cursed in the way that makes them say that no business has ever really thrived here, sir. That they all go- Ass up. I wouldn't really say it like that, but I guess so. This sounds serious. We can go into the bookstore and- uh Yes, please do look at our wares inside. The postcards and board games you asked about are also there, sir. Nothing really, sir. Mum does- It does not manifest itself in but any Kim, way. But Kim, the it plasmic manifestations. No such thing. Kim. Uh, anything else you wanted to talk about, sir? It sounds like every mid-sized American city, no business ever really thrives. The world's saddest AO. AO. Maybe I can tell you about some of our books instead. What's this crime business? Crime fiction is about murders or burglaries or things like that. And the work of a policeman or a private detective who's trying I to get solve it. a crime. It and gets catch the people criminals. going. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And it's kinda like a puzzle too. You can guess who the criminal is. Or how the good guys hey, are gonna catch Hey, I'm them. a policeman. You don't look much like a policeman. Maybe I should stop being a Didn't policeman. Didn't mean to offend, sir. Sorry, sir. It's just that you don't look like Dick Mullen. <laughs> it's not your body that's important in police work anyway. It's your gourd. It's here too? That's the art cop? Thing? Alright. She looks at Dick Mullen. 
frowning, dark, arrogant, violent. Like he isn't even drawn right. Oh, because he's not even drawn. <laughs> I, <clears throat> I'm an artist. He's not even drawn right. She examines the picture, trying to find whatever is wrong with it. There's just no she way to then cut. She shrugs and puts the book aside, unconvinced. Adulting is hard. Sure you can, sir. He's just a fictional character. Maybe you can show me some real police work, sir. Like in the books. Okay. Time for me to deduce something. The girl keeps her hands folded. Hit what do you mean, sir? <laughs> it's kind of a... Mind your business, Harry. She knows where this is going. You don't need to be worried. I'm here to help. She looks around anxiously. What's wrong her with her hands? hands? Remain folded in front of her. She doesn't want to show them. <gasps> She's got the black spot from Pirates of the Caribbean. The lieutenant stands by, looking a facade of true professionalism. He is far more intrigued by the situation than his poise reveals. It's okay. Me being good with kids is like a great. <laughs> so I do. I. It seems like my conversations with children are always fine. I've even won Kuno over a little bit recently. It's okay. She brings out her reddened hands. Her nails frayed. Oh my god. Nearly chewed down to the flesh. You have generalized anxiety disorder. And you knew this from me keeping my hands folded? Yes. Well, that proves nothing. Anyone could do an easy deduction like that. Yes, we did make progress with Kuno. I found his city of locusts and called him an artist. And it resonated. She actually is impressed. This is more like a defensive reflex. You want more? She nods, half provocative, half enthusiastic. Rats have been nibbling on your fingers. You're probably uptight because of your mother and the pressure she's putting on you. Maybe so, sir. Okay, I know it's a bad habit, and I shouldn't. Kuno sells you the found sweatpants? Mate. But did you resolve the question, fuck, does Kuno care? We're still working on that one. Um, I hope this entertained you. It was okay, sir. <laughs> There's more that can be achieved here. Ask her to do the same. Hey, what do you think about me? You're quite sober. <gasps> Say it again. Say it again, but slower. The lieutenant does not flinch at the comment. He does not flinch even a sick Because you usually aren't. I'm also sad and my head hurts. I'm sorry, sir. I think we'll get <laughs> soon. Why don't you guys come into my chat and tell me I'm looking quite sober today? Continue. There she stands, swaying on her feet, assaulted by the early spring breeze. She smiles at you. I have the another whole role. Situation you have absolutely Fuck. no idea. Familiar? How? You must have forgotten something you heard again. Damn it. It's the type of book where there's a rich lady and she has to choose between the good man and the bad man. You seem like you have a hangover. <laughs> or there could be a story about a poor lady getting a rich man. It's about man and lady business, sir. <laughs> what about a book where the man and lady business doesn't work out, I eh? haven't read many of those. Maybe you should ask Mum. You think she has one about an excruciatingly painful breakup? I don't think it's a romance story if the main characters break up, though. <laughs> what is he talking um, about? No, I I'll ask your yes. mom. She what was that? You clearly have issues you need to address. <laughs> what about when everyone's poor? That's really not a proper romance story. Not in romance books, sir. These are about nice and pretty people, and everyone is happy in the end. <laughs> That's enough. Maybe some about other books? I'm so annoyed I missed the roll. Bye, Annette. We'll figure it out. Oh, I can, um... What thought... There's so- oh, Jesus. We can do homo- Ah, uh, Cop of the apocalypse, hom or a homosexual underground. Tell me what to do. Oh, 
Homo. Be gay. Homo. Gay. Choose yourself. That's explicitly what I did not want to do. Homo. Apocalypse. Apocalypse. I'd start with Apocalypse. Ah! I, I trust Colacanth. Who says start with Apocalypse. I think we'll do we'll do homosexual. There's always time to be gay. There's always time to be gay. Minus one rhetoric, rambling madman. Revolta? Thanks very much for subscribing. Thank you, thank you. Welcome in. If you get the pop for art cop, I do it first. Whoops. <laughs> I guess it's fine. Okay, so we've got that cooking. We've, um... Right, that's cooking. We have a skill point. You can do more than one research at once if you have a skill point. I can. Well, that's good to know. Well, there you go. Now they're both cooking. Be gay, end world, let's fucking go. I've told you before. <laughs> My brain is made of napkins. That's so funny. I really thought you could only do one at a time. <laughs> game doom- game doomsday. Gay doomsday. I can't talk. Harry two thoughts. <laughs> oh. Harry two thoughts. What's this? Run. Don't walk. Don't mind if I do. Remember the Alamo? Um... I kinda wanna go talk to Cindy the Skull and tell her she has suitors in waiting. I want to fucking get this wall sorted out as Just well. An ordinary wall. I still can't even do anything. Fuck that wall. There it is again. There's a spectral scent haunting Cindy, this pair. Cindy, I can smell you. Most years of turmoil. Take what a breath. do you smell? The first thing that strikes you is the overwhelming grime. You imagine yourself underwater. A hundred-legged arthropod. A hundred-legged arthropod. The silt at the bottom. But then the unmistakable reek of seagull shit. Gross. You. Still smelling for communist detective? Yes. Well, I'll be over here when you're finished. His impatience is feigned. What the lieutenant thinks is irrelevant. Your politico olfactory cortex. Is <laughs> My dumbass typos like got me auto modded. <laughs> the scent of communism is overwhelming, and it's coming right. From that balcony. Gary two thoughts. Zertenemor. A precocious communist youth. A symbol of a kinder, more hopeful future. A chance to establish. Cindy is not gonna with... believe that I'm a communist. But like God bless. Hello. Hello again, officers. That isn't a fresh paint smell coming from the wall. She's using every fuel oil. Piss <laughs> And fuck the world, send their best. I don't believe it. I've never known those boys to have manners. They were they were very sweet, Cindy. The amusement in her voice doesn't fully mask genuine tenderness. They seem to hold you in high esteem. They'll never be skulls, but but their hearts are in the right place. Can I be a skull? Fat chance. 
But you can still do your part to revitalize the neighborhood. Okay then. How's that? She throws you yes, a indeed, conspiratorial cute. glance, then presses her finger to her lips and squints up at the sky. Aww. As though Have you noticed the quiet? Every so often, you ma This place is a sepulchre. We'll paint it red. We bring the raucous. You bring the siren. Oh my god. Uh, the cops of the people? Finally? Hey, sister. Let's <laughs> let's talk about politics. And what do you know about politics? Uh, one of the union guys said there's someone trying to organize an underground revolutionary cell. An underground? Sure. I know someone who'd love to talk that ideological stuff. You're looking for Stepan. If you ask about what she's doing to the wall again, you might get another art cop prompt. Top tip. A right communist Ooh. who runs a mega cool Ooh. and very secret meeting. Hey, look at my jacket. You might. Will you help me find him? No. Cindy! The lieutenant let slip a sigh that seems to suggest <laughs> this turn was utterly predictable. I'll give her five real. Keep your money. Cindy! Don't look so deflated. Whatever she asks, you keep your chin up. You want the kiss? Prod me if my back's eating too much? Literally, not at all. I, um, like, at this point, especially so that I know, like, how the... Well, I don't know. I know how the game works, but if there's something that would make my experience better, then please do th throw, throw it in the hat. A wicked grin extends across her face. Her raccoon eyes make me want to throw a brick through a Walmart. <laughs> a laughing scarf. Death hilarious. Death hilarious. This is gonna be bad. Oink for me, piggy. Just once. I'll just do it. I'll do it. Uh, uh, gladly. In fact, we'll both get something out of it. With gusto. Oink oink. Wow. That was easier than I expected. It's almost like you've been wanting to do it this whole time. <laughs> she knows. A cool, damp feeling ripples that, that did not damage you my morale. You need to have rolled over quite so easily. You don't know me. The lieutenant, needless to say, What the hell? Impressed. No one liked that. I think I felt like that showed I was like... I, I've left my pride at the door, you know? I'll do what it takes to get this shit done. Sounds like you're really serious about meeting Stepan. It's touching, sort of. You're so much more chill about backseating than other streamers. I get sniped for even suggesting something optional and cool. I mean, I get everyone, I don't know. Everyone can run their, their meetings the way they want. But, um... Whatever. It's pretty chill. You pig shamed yourself. Is pride part of morale? <laughs> yeah, they're like meetings, aren't they? Yeah, I'm not like other streamers. Stepan's group I'm a cool streamer. Only at night, in an old room in these apartments here. <gasps> it just so happens you're. Oh in my book. god. Their weekly meeting is tonight. Our schedule's packed tonight. Poke your snout around sometime after 10 p.m. And you might just find them. We've got we've got two meetups to attend. Can you tell me anything else about this fella? Just that he's a real communist. Not like the play acting you've been doing. The rest, you'll have to see for yourself. We've been blessed with nice backseaters so far, I am. Yeah, if, well, that's, if someone came in being like, hey, why the fuck hasn't she, hasn't she done the blah, 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 you know, then that would be annoying. But the tone is more like, hey, you can do that, if you didn't know. And I go, yeah. Yeah, sure. That all makes a lot of sense. Why do I feel like there's a catch? Oh, smart pig. Because there is... I'm annoyed I oinked for her now. I thought my oinking was going to be something we could all get behind. <laughs> but it turns out I was the only one who wanted to do it. See, 
it's the who bonds wanted me to do it, rather. Side. He's got all these magus. <coughs> Not to interfere in your personal errand, but I wonder whether it might have something to do with that. Oh, uh, good thinking, Kim. The lieutenant nods. I don't need you, Cindy. Guess this is what happens when two pigs put their heads together. You'll find that I do not remember what he said, but I'm sure Kim did, so... That's enough. Off with you then. Fuck yeah. I'm feeling good about that one. Catch you later. <clears throat> okay. Well, let's go check out the apartments. For this guy's house. I think I still have a- we can get some easy XP by- I never investigated this apartment because I had to reload from the closest save and I missed out this thing so I can go talk to that fucking real estate agent woman quickly. I think that's all I need to do. You hear someone. Hello? Excuse me? Of course not. Of course not. Scare them. Suspected of some big crime. They're filming something for HGTV. They're filming Flip or Flop. There's no sweet talking your way in there. Be official. I have no snout, but I must wink. Are you cooking morphine in here, sweet cheeks? Oh, come on! That was smart. <laughs> Thank you, Kim. Master investigator. You just can't keep yourself away from locked and hidden places, hey, can you? I'm not some sort of a peeper. Sure, friend. This is nothing sordid. Nothing inappropriate. The jam rock you shuffle. Just have Let me in. Hello. <laughs> Why are you standing like that? Ma'am, you're a little stiff. Excuse me. A pack of medicine peeks out of the box. You should take it? Fuck yeah. Don't be ridiculous. You can hear it swarming with bugs? The phasmid? No, probably not. Oh my god, but it could- it could be? Ooh. Nice. Oh, and I never- my, the, my black monk straps? Part of my boring fit? Hello? Satisfied? My name is Marielle Charpentier, and I'm an agent with Martinez Realty Associates. I am not breaking in, as I have every right to be here. The keys, see? Bug. Boy, there are a lot of different keys there. More than 20, at least. Calling monk straps boring. It's not about my personal preference. It's... The game is suggesting that those are... Well, whatever. Duel her? Sorry, I'm petting Bug. Her voice is really cheerful, despite her obviously hating you. Seeing Bug's face made me want to touch her. Do you want to see my ID as well? I don't you need your ID. Leave? Very well, but please make it quick. I need to be back in La Delta and then- Oh, that's another huge mess. The former tenant owes us three months of rent. Three. We closed the apartment and planned on auctioning off the valuables, but- Every time I see someone with monk straps, I know they have sex 24-7. That's funny. That's- I'm not sure that's- <laughs> I'm not sure that'd be my analysis. Well, fine, I'll put them on then. If, it, if, I, if it'll make me sexy. And again, I have no idea. If it'll make me look like I fuck. Like this can even happen. But Ron, when a hole in the wall. I'm not listening to this woman oh, at all. Her. The incompetence. I want to bless Bug with the gift of speech, brother. I think that every goddamn day. Just for like five minutes. Five minutes. I just, I'd want to tell her. I'd be like, listen, I love you so much. And I'd be like, when I make you go into your little box, it's not because I'm trying to like make you upset, but because we need to go to the vet because your teeth are fucked up, right? So we just gotta go. And don't be scared because we'll come back right after. And then I'd ask her like, do you want to go outside? Or is that just something I'm like, uh, I'm projecting onto you? So she can answer that question. And then also I'd say, do you like the taste of your food? And then also I'd say, what kind of music do you like? Because we can collaborate on that as well. I know you don't have any thumbs and you don't know what Spotify is, so you can't pick it. But we can do something. And she's like, just leave me alone. <laughs> These 
apartments look pretty shabby. These apartments are perfectly fine. They have gorgeous architecture, a million real. I'll tell you, Martinez has a future. In a few years, it's going to blossom with artists and creators. It's as if they're real wizards. You're boring well, me, lady. What happened with the wall? What happened with both apartments? Are what are you doing here? I need to get it ready for the next. It was some kind of a moribund old man who you. A sudden serious look crosses her face. But that was months ago. Thank you. Of course. <laughs> Great. We all hated that conversation, and we're all glad it's over. Bug says, I'm very sad. Don't even, don't joke about that shit. <laughs> and then I'd ask her, like, does anything hurt? Because I know cats are really good at, like, they don't let on if something hurts. So I'd be like, does your, like, tummy hurt or something? Have I looked at all this? What's that? 16 days of coldest April? Well, of course. A shift in temperature. The air chills around you. Rub my side. Dust settles on the stony floor. Bug in a sweet voice. Owie tummy hood. <laughs> what if Bug talked like chat? I'd disown her. Good luck out there, Bug. I'd give her a stick with a little sack tied to it, like that ant. A former architect <laughs> stands before a slice of window. A room plan in her hand. A cold wave has made the air in the building stand still and frozen. Her face. It's red from the cold. The She's plan. breathed faint pencil lines on paper depict the same Look around. It's clean and empty, with new tapestry embellishing the walls. A st <laughs> she had an eye for me. What's... Someone has torn down the wall. Can I walk in here? I've, not, I've never even gone in here. Hello. Got some money and some tile and all. Nice. Woman, I looked into it. Give me a moment. There's no counterculturals in there. I see. Nice. I hope some good people are finally going to move in. This place needs them. <laughs> I laughed at this before. Lax women and sexual deviants. That's who will come spit. <laughs> when you start killing real estate agents... We won't be killing... She's seen it and known those who have been killed. Do you know anything about a secret meeting? What? No. Nobody How about any anything. unusual activity? If it ain't my business... I'll keep my nose out of it. I think we'd all be better off if people kept their noses to themselves. I'm looking for Billy Magine. I, um, I haven't spoken to the novelty dice maker. I did speak to her on my, my initial test run. I basically, again, for context, I started playing, was a bit confused. I started playing on stream, was a bit confused, had some private time with it. Basically spent the entirety of my private time in the doomed commercial area, which is why I haven't gone back there on this run. But I did talk to the dice maker, yeah. So I I did see it, but just alone. It's about Victor, isn't it? It's always about Victor with her. You'll find the measures in apartment twenty upstairs. It's one of those doors on the balcony. That makes sense now why you haven't gone in there yet. To be fair, I did try to go in. I don't know if we I I think I tried to break down the door like three times and I kept hurting myself. <laughs> so then I just figured that. Ah. Her portrait looks like she's holding a shotgun. Oh my god, he does. Okay, they're in 20. I'll go check it out. What's um. I can't remember if I've walked up here. Let me just go look. Didn't you just ask her for the key? Oh, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> we can look into that. Am I, like, running out of time to do the doomed commercial area? I guess let me know if I am entering a... a point of no return with that. Because I'd still like to go check it out. Because also... Well, whatever. We can talk about it later. I'm having a thought. 
The door is locked. I sure would like to. The game will literally tell you. Alright. Golden. Oh, I haven't even been in here. Silly me. A hundred tiny feet? The rats of the city. Look at the rats. Swallow the rats. Fire? Nice. That's right. Some Levi's. And, um, that is locked. Give me my crowbar, if ye dare. Those are chain cutters. Open. Rat swat. <laughs> I can't freaking talk! Rats, rats. We are the rats. Goodbye, sweet Cindy. I'll talk to you soon. Ooh, the piggies have learned how to saunter up staircases. I didn't think you could do that with who. Yeah, I can see that. Cool mutations. Celebrating yet another birthday bash. Hey, it's almost my birthday. It's my birthday in two weeks. Two weeks exactly. Maybe I'll... We've got the... The doomsday party's on Thursday, and then my birthday's on Friday. Oh my god, a little disco for my birthday? That'd be so cute. Juno's birthday's in two weeks. You can only ask about fuel oil from up here? Of course. Some conversations can only be had at eye level. Stream birthday party, Pog. Is that heavy fuel oil? Red dyed heavy fuel oil, intended for exclusive use in government vehicles, to be precise. What did he think I was using? I she really did it. She's proud of it too. That's some clever cultural commentary. I'm really, I'm just trying to get on her good side. Ain't seen nothing yet, piggy boo. Is that bed yours? Oh. She does have eyes that seem to be smeared with coal. Don't you have a real home? That's a bit rude. But I'll say it. Does anyone? If there's pain about any particular home she's lost, she's buried. You're a yes. miner. I keep. It doesn't have to do anything at all. You're a miner. Nothing does. Like me. Right now, I'm shoot piggy. I found it's some what drugs. You, they just might be rough stuff. If you take the ride, you'd be wise to buckle your little pig belly up. Oh, she has no idea. She has no idea what I can handle. Juno subsists on edibles, massive hogs, and birthdays. God bless Juno. Every time I see him say anything in the Discord, they're like... <laughs> so while I was like so fucking baked the other day... <laughs> I'm, st I'm still so baked. <laughs> and then they say like just the craziest shit you've ever heard. <laughs> Juno was cooked. Her neurons must be on fire. The heat creating waves and ripples in all she sees. Doesn't make Above everything all, you see all art-like? You really think I need to be high to see the world as art? Poor unimaginative piggy. How I wouldn't want to have your peepers. <laughs> Resident Discord server cook. To hell with the art part, man. It's all about No! Anyway. Not to hell with the art part. What did I do? I fucked it. I'm an art cop. Damn it. What are you doing Can't to the wall? You tell? I haven't really started it yet. This place is so I thought I'd mix it up. You know. Yeah. I love public art. <laughs> Cola can't, what do I do? Why won't it let me be an art cop? I love it. Thanks. I've already said it. <laughs> her desire to deface the building. You probably need one more point. All right. We can check it out later. <laughs> oh wait, can I, this is locked. Can I open it with the crowbar? Probably not. 
Probably not, eh? Yeah, no, I don't think so. Okay. Um, check. Oh, yeah, I haven't checked the horse statue. I'll go do that. Good call, good call. Have I- have I not been in here either? Did I do- I must have- I must have, um... I must have save scummed this out of the plot too. Cause I remember this. A plaster cast bust. Depicts oh no, maybe a not. Aged man Never mind. With impressive sideburns. The name on the plinth reads. Thank you for your duty. Whoever lives your, here what? definitely Th shares. Th your <laughs> Thank you for your service. There aren't many communists around. It's a cute little bedroom. Drape yourself in empathy before talking to Billy. I think I'm pretty empathetic already. Oh yeah, but my clothes, of course. I'll wear the clothes of... Hold on one second. Billy Magin is not my lover. Who's in here? Here, I'll put on my empathy clothes now. You can buy a man from Hjemdal book from the bookshop and criticize the shit out of it for an art cop point. All right. So we've got a path to art cop. Can you sing it in Mr. Krabs' voice? Absolutely not. Empathy clothes. I love to do this every single time because I can't fucking remember what does what. Do do do. Ba ba da ba. Um, still look empathy brogues, empathy coats, and my empathy glasses. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Okay, you guys like that? <laughs> ba ba da ba. <laughs> Apartment 20, eh? I have done the karaoke. Damn looking good, not some hobo cop style. Yeah, we're kind of dripped out. Hello. A weathered brown door. The number reads... Sinatra on the horn. <laughs> She's scatting. We bombed the karaoke, unfortunately. It was for the best, but I, um, cause everyone, we watched what happens when you pass the check on YouTube. So I got the full experience. Something smells good. Soup a l'ongion. Soup a l'ongion? The lieutenant motions to you. This is the door. Drugs you first! Know it's the right door. I forgot. This is going to be, get yourself together. Hold don't on. knock, just leave. You don't need this. You don't need to sad it up. Kim, what should we expect? You're right. It's still this true. All right. You hear some light footsteps and what appears to be a daily weather forecast playing on the radio. Hi, guys. I've been watching without an account for about a week, but I'm part of the chat now. Hell yeah. Hello, Spagdus. You'll be surprised by how quickly you get stuck in. Shout out to we Vidya Game. We have our first preliminary identification. In all likelihood... Now... Delivering a death notification is never an easy task. Oh god, yeah. There's a reason why it's often called the most stressful part of our job. Oh no. This is why it's usually done in pairs. You got this. I got it. Reactions, ready to act if necessary. There's gonna be a check, isn't there? And I bet it's really grim if you don't pass it. <laughs> um, do you have any advice? Death. Just don't say good advice. What if I don't wanna? Yes, it's hard. <laughs> but there is no easy way to handle this information. All right, we'll the lieutenant do it. motions towards the door. Wait, hold on. Let me. What drugs do I have to do? I swear to God, I'll learn this stuff eventually. Empathy. I can't even see it. Oh, it's in psyche, which is again. My. Put, put, it's 
pretty it's a pretty useful substance. I'll give it that. Just a quick hit before I tell this woman her husband's dead. I think that's enough empathy. <laughs> if anything, that is too much empathy. Since you don't mind doing drugs, the lonesome long way home thought is also on the recommends list. Alright, cool. <laughs> Tom has very kindly gifted a sub to VIP Colacanth. That's very nice of you, thank you. He says in recognition of your service. You only have two health slots? Yeah, we're like living on the edge. I don't know. I hope nothing deals two health damage at once. Because then I'm fucked. A weathered brown door. Something's but the lieutenant. This is the door. You okay. get yourself. This is going to be so Just hard. Don't knock. Just leave. Knock. Hello? Who is it? Oh. I don't wanna. <laughs> Pretty sure Everett did to me once. Rot row. And someone turns down the radio. Hello, Billy Magin. Police. A moment, please give us a moment. Oh, this is gonna be bad. Go on. Tidy enough. Nervously. Mm. This fear in her voice. Come in. The door is open. Okay. Yeah, give her some of the Peralodon. <laughs> Ma'am, you look like you need some of this. Fine. Oh. Oh. Hold on, let me just look around at everything first. The music's sad. Packages of humanitarian aid, macaronis. Excuse me, ma'am. Let me just look at every solitary item in your home, and then we can get into it. Oh. Oh, they've got a... I would like to go into the bathroom. Hello. It's you from the book stand. Did you come to bring oh, my copy yeah. to you? This is the woman who we were t we were like, hey, do you know where your husband is? Oh my god, and it was him. Uh who died? We went the fishing area, we found a poor bastard corpse on the dock. I don't think I introduced myself properly. Oh I'm Billy. The lieutenant has taken off I don't his foggy wanna. glasses and is busy cleaning them in his handkerchief. He must feel vulnerable without his glasses. Is this why he's letting you take the lead? I'm okay, thank you. Is this about Victor? Yeah, we had husband. a zany cockatoo moment. Is he in some kind of trouble again? I can come pick him up in the station if that's what. Good night, Adam. Yeah, Kim really left us out to dry here, huh? Keep it together. You don't Sorry, I'm rambling. I I feel sick. It's just that <laughs> this is awful. Into all kinds of trouble. Definitely no small talk. This isn't the time. I or mean, place. we've got a perfect shot, but still, I don't even want to go through the other dialogue. I almost want to get to the chase. Imagine we fail it. Marry her so her husband isn't dead anymore. Look at me. I'm your husband now. You live here. You live here with Victor, right? It's me, Victor, and the kids here. We have two daughters, Jenny and Jolie. Look around, and where is everybody? I don't see anyone home. That's because one third of them are dead. I remember you. You mentioned them at the book stand. Mm -hmm. They came home. Oh my God! I do have. I have to say it. The girls are staying at the. She swallows visibly. Out where? Why am I like questioning her about it? Oh my god. 
has a prob he's probably in the box drinking with his friends. I sent him to the library a I few should... days ago. Wait, I have to tell you something. She folds her hands across her chest. You've done this before. Just keep your focus. Uh, Ma'am. I'm really sorry. What did you say? Your husband. Oh. 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 Oh, but he was just. <sighs> but he was just here, alive. We understand this comes as a huge shock. I want you to know that me and my partner are. What happened to him? He, he slipped. Was he drunk? Yes. I see. And you just found him there, lying in the cold. Yeah. How long had he been there? If you say two days, maybe, it will be etched in her mind. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Say it couldn't have been long. She blinks, eyes welling up with tears as her hand starts searching for something from the pot, the handkerchief. Mm -hmm. Ah. Oh, yes, of course. Of course. Yes, thank you. Of course. That's the only thing I ever could have used it for. Is there anyone we could call for you? Uh, Are you friend, kidding me? Are you kidding me? You? Hold on. Oh my god, this is so funny. Don't they know I'm having a moment? Hold on one second. I think it's an Amazon delivery. You're always having a moment. have a voice for people that come to the door i swear my voice goes up by like two octaves i'm always like hi hi thank you hi all right i'm sad don't kill me please tone <laughs> No, no. I just need to tell my girls. God. Should I call them? Should I tell them to come home? No. A day. No. No. Take a day. Good. That's probably the right thing. Thank you. Just tell me, what do I need to do next? Oh my god, he's still on the dock, Where man. Is he? Can I see him? Don't tell her that. We've taken him to the city morgue. The local oh, coroner okay. will Never be contacting mind. you shortly you. to arrange the funeral. Here's his number in case you want to contact him earlier. My voice gets gruff. That's probably, that's funny. We probably like make ourselves better fit the like gender role we occupy when faced with strangers, you know? I'm like, hi. Arf, 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 woof, woof, awoo. Goddamn gender. <laughs> Is there anything else that the RCM could do for you? No, I'll call you if something comes up. I'm still...
failing this on a subsequent playthrough is so rough because you know what you should be saying and empathy keeps giving the wrong advice instead. I'll have to watch it later, I bet that's awful. <laughs> Considering how bad it was to do everything right. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. These are her last reserves of strength. <sighs> her muscles will I'm give in I'm, like, so sorry. Already. We should step outside and talk. Sure. Poor lady. Well, that was pretty rough, Kim. You did well. I, yeah, I'm not gonna say I could have done more. I did, I did what I could. What now? I'll call the station when we are finished with the day and let them know the name of the deceased. What about Billy and her kids? They'll manage. Yeah, it's not one of those spectacular fails. It's just very quietly sad and awful. Ugh. They have to. It's not your place to live their lives. That's it? That's it. We should get back to our case now that our duty here is done. Alright. Give me my XP, baby! Let's go. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. That was insensitive. Okay. So, we've got a meeting back here. Yeah, only 10 for all that. I delivered the most tactful, the <laughs> awful news of all time. Um, okay, so we have two meetings at 10 p.m. We can go ask the cook about the, the borscht. Oh, and I need to go look at the horse statue, which I haven't done yet. What a, what a strange menagerie of tasks. Telling Billy left-wing messages to get more XP. Your husband would have made a fantastic socialist. Um. Someone's washing dishes. Oh my god! That fucker's in there. The door is closed again. You hear someone Nothing inside. to do here anymore. I- why is the game acting like I don't know who it is? I know it's the crypto-fascist. Yeah, Gary the Weasel. Fucker. I know who's in there. I'll go look at the horse. Billy Jean's husband is dead. We're schmoothing. Hello, my poet friend. I haven't spoken to you in a while. Stuck in the rain in a traffic jam, man. We got no What's more conversations left to have, huh? I like them. She do be clicking. It's a crazy statue, to be fair. Hello. An old monument stands in the middle of the traffic island. Who is this? A silver plaque on the statue's pedestal reads, sure. Not a good track record of mental health. Philippe that family. the Fourth, the insane. <laughs> Same. As you look up, you notice something about the statue. There are some odd indentations. My encyclopedia is so low. Something with great kinetic energy seems to have impacted the cuirass. Smoke some ciggies oh. first. Okay, I can't. Well. Martinez is riddled with bullet holes. This place saw a lot of action during the revolution. But the statue is recently renovated. It's probably so political. Why not? What this shows us is guns are- The king stands high above you. Hold on, let me sort myself out. Um, I also have- I do have insight- I really should be wearing the encyclopedia clothes that I have, like, all the time, given how deeply stupid I am. I don't actually have that many encyclopedia clothes either. Is it just the glasses? Oh, but they're plus two. I should be wearing these prescription lenses. <laughs> I feel like that'll give me the best chance at success going forward. Plus two. Yeah, okay. And I'll have a 
a wee, a wee suck on the gas stick. Which is what I call smoking. Kim, one sec, let me light up. I'm fine. Yes? Oh, sorry. Oh wait, actually. Why does art inspire you? Got so it. Much? I didn't even have to pass the check. <laughs> it does, but what is art? Finally. Art is a diverse art range of visual, art literary, auditory. In short, art is the highest form of human communication. Would I fit in? Have you looked in the mirror lately? You have the exact features of a savage art critic. Is With architecture that, art? Of course not. It's autism. Box drawing. Ex what? Masturbation <laughs> and a sextant or whatever they use. Excuse me? Criticize the genteel institution of architecture <laughs> while extolling the virtues of the pure arts. <laughs> Autism derogatory? <laughs> what about music? Only the most experimental kind. I guess I have been feeling critical lately. Yes, you seek substance. No vapid representations and reproductions of social mores. As art exactly. critic, art critic. It's not only your duty to only get, go ahead and provide savage. Nice. Okay. So we can. I I have another skill point. Might as fucking well. Three at once. They call me Harry Three Thoughts. Let's go. A harem of thoughts. I can, um, I think something I'm wearing makes my encyclopedia worse as well. Or maybe not. No, I think it's actually fine. Roll me. <laughs> An old monument stands in the middle of the. What did he do? Fuck me, you have man. No idea what I didn't say. How would you know what this guy high above you? The king stands triumph. Freaking bozo. <laughs> Freaking stupid ass. No nothing ass. When did it last? Nah, it's fine. <laughs> I got the art degree. That's what I came for. Look at the description. Get the sandwich from Gaston while smoked up. I don't even know what you're talking about. <laughs> Who's Gaston? Oh, the, yeah, 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 yeah. Gotcha. Um, it's another copa type, the worst one, the most savage and brutal, the art cop. Nothing is good enough for him. Everything shit. You have to employ an armada of adjectives to depict and demean the mediocrity of the works and visual institutions around you. Really flex that critical muscle until the vocabulary for punishing mediocrity becomes second nature. Here we go. Nice. It's a chef from Ratatouille. Absurdism or existentialism? I'm like, I'm an existentialist who wishes they were an absurdist. I think that's maybe where I stand at the moment. Um, okay. Let me in. W-I-R. No one cooks like Gaston. No one... The man ponders his cooking utensils and gives you a little nod. Not Gaston. Acknowledging your presence. Leo said you're friends with Manana. The mention of Manana. They're friends. They're friends? What's in that borscht? The man says a couple of sentences in that strange language of his and then seems to wait. 
for you to speak. I'm pretty sure he asked you a question. He doesn't know your language. You can just say something cool in return. Mercury rising. Run your fingers through your hair, obviously. Mm. Or need more vodka? Yeah, I can do that. That's the universal language, brother. It's the language of drink. Okay, so it's vodka that... Vodka, boss! <laughs> I love it, Bratan. Turn it the fuck up and then ask for some yourself. Turning it up seems like a dangerous idea, honestly. The place is a powder keg. Am I gonna blow up the whirling in rags? Uh, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gonna turn it up. I'm not gonna cut it either. I think I'll just leave it to him. Oh, I wish I'd saved. If I saved, I'd turn it up. <laughs> Who cares, Apocalypse, Apocalypse Cop? The vodka's flammable, important to note. Ah, whatever, turn it up. He smiles, nodding vigorously, then pours nice. half a bottle of vodka into the pot. With a whistle, he stirs the brew. Can I have some of that brew, chef? He smiles. Fuck yes. Enthusiastically. Thank you. Easy. That looks like a, a fuel canister. <laughs> that is a, a shocking vessel. To, to imbibe from, for sure. Oh, God. You're on track for the explosion ending. <laughs> Quick slurp of antifreeze. All right. I like how um clean, you can't see the tasks, I just realized, but they're looking pretty clean. We don't actually have that much going on, which is kind of nice. I mean, is it worth- should I talk to Titus again now, since I'm here? Save. Gotcha. Yes, he was on the bench. That is Gaston. Okay. I'll get the sandwich. Do it. Hello, Titus, you, you linebacker motherfucker. It's you again. Hello. What is it? Let him approach. I need to talk to Ruby. Why? Oh my god. Um. I mean, the paranormal instinct whispers her name into my ear. If I'm being real. Sounds like you're making her a suspect. Ruby's one of us. We're not. And fuck you too, moral f. <laughs> Ruby is missing. If you hide from the police in a murder investigation, you become a suspect. You know how it- That's nothing. That's just legalese. You don't even have a- I think we'll keep sticking around, Titus. Got a good chance. You'll be surprised at how quickly a theory presents itself if you keep looking. I'll give it a go. Well... Ah, whatever. I'll just do it. Nothing is happening. Fuck! <laughs> the piece- Sorry, you're not coming up with anything <sighs> again. The pieces are there. Walla walla she could have done bing bang? Some, I don't know what it means, but it felt like the most appropriate thing to say. That's what the witch doctor would say, at least. Ooh ee, ooh ah ah, ching chang. Walla walla bing bang. Ooh ee, ooh ah ah, ching chang, walla walla bing bang. I bet that song is like making fun of a race of people. <laughs> I just realized. That's probably, that's probably insensitive. Hey, why am I such an idiot? No one knows. Damn it. You're not an idiot. Don't say that. This is a really big mess and being a detective is hard. I was about to say that. <laughs> I had to sing through the whole song first, just really enthusiastically, like really getting into it. And then I realized. Squint your eyes harder. Still nothing, but that's okay. This doesn't have to turn into some kind of meltdown. Why does Puzzle Face get to not melt down? You and Brian. Puzzle Face? Puzzle Face shouldn't be the shush. Who's Puzzle Face? I'm just face? more level-headed than you. That's my thing. No, no, he needs to say 500 layers and I can't remember the first line. Uh, I'm not really, am I a drama cop?
Oh, lo- logic is puzzle face, of course. Oh, lo- yeah, logic is puzzle. I want to hear the components of the theory. Smart move. The components are access to the roof. Mom, the thoughts are arguing. And motive. It's cute that Here they know what, what can do each other looks like. <laughs> Come on, hey, did someone say something already? No. Hello, visual yes. calculus. Welcome in. Who cares? Upstairs, there's a spooky building. <laughs> Take a flash. Fuck yeah. Search the basement. There are secrets. Magisterial. Ancient secrets that may assist you. When all the thoughts are arguing, in comes Inland Empire. Hey, I bet you guys are talking about something really important. But did you know there's a spooky building? You missed Electrochem calling Volition a boring condom. <laughs> Volition is kind of boring, to be fair. Say, 500... No, no. Nothing good will come of it. He did... It's that simple. Uh, unless we have more business, we should... I've, I've got nothing, actually. I'm just gonna go. And the tie goes brappin'. Um... Hello. I just really want to talk Hi, to this guy, but there's nothing to say. Bye -bye. <laughs> That's how it goes, doesn't it? Let's... I mean, I guess we can waddle on over to the fishing village. And see what is being said over there. Um, yeah, sure. Wait, they said... Did Inland Empire say the spooky building's west? Is that that locked, like, jail cell grate? I'd like to go to the spooky building. Fix up the tape. Oh, it means the doomed commercial area. Well then, never mind. It was spooky, to be fair. How do I fix the tape? I have a bundle of tape. I have an empty cassette case. I have a banged up fuel canister. I have some locusts. Royal fix it. Gotcha. Let me do some inventory cleaning. I'm carrying around my Maybells. Very cute. Got my book. A primer for small kids. La fumée. Oh, I should. This is a communism book. I should read that. Roy. I have an oopsie. Hello, hello. Okay, Hassan. What well, a communism book. I should read that. <laughs> Hey, fix my tape. You mean Riz Oli? Yeah, I do, but... Please. But I'm not some Mr. Fix-It. I'm a pawnbroker. If you want to pawn the tape, sure. Although it looks pretty... worthless. Do you have a safe word for requests of actual backseat as opposed to tips and hints? I guess... Um... <laughs> Uh, it's, um, yeah, it's whoa, 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 buddy. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. If, like, for clarity, if I am ever actually annoyed, you'll know. But honestly, everything's pretty Gucci. Like, no spoilers. Just explain why you need this so much. But even if He's you're like, hey, I think you'd really like it if you went and went and looked at the rah, 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 rah. Yeah, just say no, like kind of. Yeah, it's ooh ee ooh ah ah ting tang walla walla bing bang. Um, Roy, this ain't worthless. Huh? What do you mean? You know that church? Yes. What about it? I met some young ravers. Is it any good? 
the music. I mean. No, no, it sucks. Man, you're really invested in this. Okay, I'll help you out. Thank you. It's Willie. going to take a moment, though. So just sit back and relax. We've been here for a hundred years. You take some time to look around the store. The play of visuals all around the pawn shop is mesmerizing. That was at least 15 Suddenly. minutes. Yeah, it was. <laughs> Respooling. Anyhow, it's yours now. Thank you. Yeah, my pleasure. Goodbye. All the old boom. Typical Martinez streetlight. Sit. Still buy this streetlight. How much for the streetlight? Seven hundred real. Seven hundred. A bargain? No, it's not. Are you out of your mind? The light has undergone three transformations. Transformations. And every transformation, like well, there are the most important transformation is the light's placement among all. The okay, that checks out. I want it. Where'd you get it? It was brought to me to be altered. Now you you scooped it out of the ground. We are not you. here to investigate the theft. Of <laughs> you have to admit it's rather clever what he's done with it. This is pretty cool. I'd have one of those in my house. Quirked up. Okay. Let's go. 1 p.m. I think we're managing our time, okay? Let's roll. Kim loves mechanical work. Kim loves... Kim is hovering off of the bridge. Kim loves a... He loves a wire. Oh, the sandwich check! I, I forgot. Yes. Is he, um... I keep forgetting. Is he on the other side? Yeah, Gaston's the... Hold on. I'll go back. Sorry. I'm so silly. I sort of don't even know what you're talking about, but you seem insistent, so I'll do it. <laughs> I'm having a thought. No, I'm not. These guys? You're still waiting for Ellie. Why don't I know what anyone's name is? Is this who you're talking about? <laughs> I have yeah. really held down myself. There it is. Yes, that's what you need, Gaston. Rene, no that's that rude. Rene, tsk, tsk. it's a little pleasure. Life doesn't need to be a... Um, a <laughs> <laughs> Hello, officer. How might I be of assistance can on I this have, fine day? Can I have some of that? I'm sorry, officer. Uh. I, the only one you have. The sandwich looks like a culinary wonder. Well, in addition to the obvious slice of ham, a fat one, you notice a brim of a tomato peeking Please. from below. And... Please! Believe me, officer. I wish I... And then it hits you. The brilliant bastard has drenched the entire <laughs> sandwich in honey mustard. That's incredible. Please! Back off! Take <laughs> Sorry, officer. I'm sorry. <laughs> when the dissidents come to rape our company, he hides. <laughs> My odds aren't aren't good. Deal sandwich and he gets claws. We are a special kind of vermin, Gaston. I'm not even close. They're not impressed by my antics. A man so principled about his sandwich calls for a principled approach. I'm knee deep. Time to get you really do. Now unleash the fury. Your blood sandwich is a tool of the oppressors. What? <laughs> what oppressors? Kim, I'm cooking. I'm not going to listen to this scummy gun. Huh? Comrade. Did you... Did you make this? Yes, officer. I really don't understand how my sandwich could... Wouldn't you rather have a sandwich with soul? I would rather just have this one, officer. Nice XP really farming. Good. <laughs> Reminds me of the guy I ate lunch with who would eat honey mustard straight from the packets. Ugh. There's no ethical consumption of sandwiches. Tell this lost comrade what the people's sandwich would be like. <laughs> Distill the essence of the working man. 
in a sandwich. A, a sleek sandwich? A simple sandwich? The skepticism emanating from the Merry Senior could be sensed all the way to um, the Seminine Isles. Like, <laughs> now it's black bread, like a symbol? On top to sal to salute the coal mines our heroes worked. I don't know. I'm not married to any one of these, to be honest with you. They're all fucking ridiculous. Sorry, I'm stretching. No, everything would fall off. Luke, officer. All right. This communism is when houses and sandwich ugly. Hold on one second. I'm gonna I'm gonna run an ad so the pre-roll turns off. And then I'm just gonna sit here for a moment. Quick breath catcher. We'll do a knuckle crack indeed. I'm gonna morb. Christ. Jesus H. Christ. Let me, um... I'm just gonna look around for a second. Again, I appreciate how streamlined our remaining tasks are. All pretty easy to wrap my head around. It's a great little game. Great big game. What's, um... This is really low. <laughs> this shit. Our intellect's low as hell. How are our thoughts doing? They're chugging along. <laughs> Can't even look at this shit. <laughs> this is garbage. Any crackpot theories? <laughs> I uh, I don't know. I'm bad at predicting this stuff anyway. I um I sort of just let it take me on the journey. But I I mean presumably someone unexpected has been masterminding the shit the whole time. We don't theorize. <laughs> like we're all just puppets. We were all getting jerked around by the same by the same strings. Yeah, maybe Kuno. That's <laughs> yeah, the rich guy. Remember when someone in the chat, I was talking to Lena, the cryptozoologist's wife, and they said, best twist villain of all time, and I got mad? <laughs> <laughs> I said, fuck you, brother. And I meant it. <laughs> Here's how it's all Kim's fault. Panny, was you? I said, fuck you, brother, sincerely. That's so funny. I was mad. <laughs> I didn't, that's what I mean. It was unexpected. That's why I bought it. I was like, man, that would be a crazy twist. She's so nice. I'm rugging, rugging. I'm rubbing Bug's tummy. One second. Hi, Bean. You're shedding everywhere. Look at this. Can you see? Show bug. Wait, hold on. Don't look. 
She's facing away from you. Bug, turn around. <laughs> Infinite bug. Infinite bug glitch. She's so mad. You, you have books. Sweaty. Ugh. Hold on, it's a bit high now. Okay, let's keep it going. Hello, bug and drone, if that is your real name. Hello, number man. You have a camera? I thought you were just Max streaming. Does it look that bad? <laughs> <laughs> okay. We will now cross the bridge. The music is swelling. It's a great soundtrack. Gotta restock the trap. The trap stands empty amongst the reeds, powdered with snow. This was Fantastic. the one. <laughs> Release the bugs! The locusts, dazed from being transported, slowly begin to acclimate. They're not really going to get the chance to get comfortable here. What's that supposed to mean? Good. Now that's done. When do you think- Don't answer that. It was a rhetorical question. Are you mocking me, Kim? Oh, bugs twitching? <laughs> Are you dreaming? Sorry I moved you around. Are you okay? She's okay. Kim's nagging you. Okay, let me go talk to our friends in the tent. I'm wondering if there's so much to explore on this end. I want to make sure I looked at everything. I guess I did. I did come in here. Get me out. Hello, everyone. I'm back. A lovable cop. My potential GF. The waves are beginning to die down. Look at those little bastards. Simmer down. Why little bastard she care waves. About the waves so much? What is it with you and those waves? What is it with waves and fishermen? We need to be out there with them, fishing, making a living. So I asked them to accommodate me. Why is Bug trembling? Why are you trembling? Are you okay? I think she's fine. I think she's just being silly. Hold on, let me observe her for a moment. Sometimes she does that when she's sleepy, I don't know why. Cat trembling when sleeping? The tremors are completely harmless and a sign that your cat is dreaming. <laughs> okay. I think she's okay. Just a quick health check. My cat does that. But until that happens, I can try to assist you the best I can. Never mind. I thought I'd be able to ask you to go on a date again. Cat just has high shivers skill. The music is so loud. <laughs> Hello.
Hello. Bug mode. Bugs having visions of dark corners of London. <laughs> My friend, you are still out here. Hello again. What did, um, I had a thing to do with Estelle. Estelle refused to talk about her friends. Maybe she'll open up later after you've helped them set up the nightclub, I see. Fine. Bug, she's shivering. She's okay. Hey, Egghead. I fixed, I, I got something for you. The large-headed youth has closed his eye. Good morning, comrade. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. Here. Yeah. <laughs> Remix time. Tape goes here. Into deck B. <laughs> A hand on his ear. He listens to the Egg. audio through his headphones and shouts. Wow. Did oh, you he get loves this it. from Arno himself? It's hardcore. A great excitement is bubbling to the surface within him. This is big. No, I found it in a tree. Listen, I'm just going to show it to you. Oh, fuck ready? yeah. Go on, ready. Turn it up. That rocked. That went so hard. Boots, cats, boots, cats. Now, if only we had the beat for the full assault, oh, it would be boy. unbelievably intriguing. The way I see it, Van Eyck based his remix on some famous original piece, <laughs> like a folk song, Bones something on. local. Seems you found an initial part with the. I think it's just happenstance, chaos in action, happenstance. contingencies of our limited existence. That and Egghead's fantastic. Noid's right. Egghead's technical talent is the key. Egg's very talented. Something mysterious is going on here. Yeah, it sounds like a local song remixed. Be how it may, if it oh, fits, geez. it fits. <laughs> that was Bring crazy. <laughs> what about the bass? Do you have any ideas for that? Yeah, I remember. You said it needs more bass. You can't just leave it without a bass track. Yeah, of course. Yo, the warrior! Can't leave the it without a bass track. God. Don't be too hard on yourself if you don't figure it out. I think the jam's already pretty old. Hey, what does that mean? I'll figure it out. Could be hyper, hyper. I'll th don't worry, boys. Make his jam harder core. Help Egghead with the beat? This may take a while? How much longer we got left? <laughs> oh my god. Um, sync signs with Noid. Huh? I see you here again. I don't Off know how the sync signs. Yeah. Gotta compare. That's ridiculous. See? Our signs are way off. Check back in the church. It's so loud in here. All right. I'll check back in the church. They never say needs more treble. <laughs> well, it's all about that bass. About that bass, no treble. The classic sorry communist cop. Where am I walking? Take me into this house of God. This tall, tall door. Hello. Anything weird going on in here? Hello, ma'am? Yes, what is it? Um... What if you don't have to leave? I don't want to make anything work. You don't want to make anything work? Yes, anything. I don't want to make anything work. All right. Good. Hey, how about you cooperate? Easy. When our research is done, she can move out. What? No, I don't really need any help with the project. 
I could help you, and then you wouldn't have to live in a church next to the Boom Boom anymore. <laughs> she thinks about it. A glossy look in her. All right. Bring me the game's off-site copy from my old workspace, if you really want to. This is in the old it's commercial area. Memory, and I'm unable to go and fetch it myself. The, the doomed commercial, right? It is. All right. I gotcha. Yeah, that's the one. You can. There's this giant ice bear fridge. Don't worry. I know about the fridge. The bear. It's hideous. I'm clever. I'll go look for it. I already know what you're talking about. And here's my false old multi tool. Oh fuck yeah! You might need it to hack loose some ice. Thank you. It opens everything. If you get me the offside copy, then you can keep the false old. It's all connected. Miyazaki has done it again. It hurts a bit for her to say this. She's not too happy to be parting with the cabal. Thank you for for the tool. I'm just gonna fucking sell it. <laughs> cool. I wonder if I can open anything else that I haven't been able to open yet. I'll leave it equipped just in case. Okay, well I guess we're doing that. Um, right, so the nightclub, yes. I need to help Suna to help with the night. I, I get how a quest works. You get one quest, but then it turns out it's a billion other little quests. You finally got the multi-tool, <laughs> my favorite tool by far. Try the bunker red check just outside. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay, and then this all this all leading to our two meetings tonight, of course. So, but we have the rest of the day free to to roam around. I don't know why I'm so concerned about the time management as if I'm like going to run out of time. It's safe to just try it. Look at that. That's huge. Oh my god. Is that heavy? <laughs> Is your arm tired? Try the bunker. Hello. I'm having a thought. Oracle, worn by elements, guards the depot. The wind has blown a sand dune. I can in click front this. The door hasn't been opened in a long while. You said I could you click see it. A handle. So I'll do it. You rattle the handle a bit, then push on the door with all your weight. It does not budge. Not only is it locked, it's also jammed shut. The door's shut tight. We don't get in there. <laughs> what do you mean? We get into, like, everywhere. Frankly, you're just going to have to accept the fact that you can't get in through every single door. The fuck is that supposed to mean? No, no. We've gotten into every door. That's who we spot. are! That's what we do. Yeah, I understand you. I lack opening doors as much as the next guy. This is the only check but in the game you can't be. Oh my god, what's in there? The resources needed Show the door your badge. Relax. No one's hiding in there. If we can't... At oh. least you can think about... <laughs> one <that>. more door. <laughs> well, I want that one. That's funny. What does that say? God damn it, it cannot be! A disgrace! That door on the coast, you remember the one, the one that leads to the abandoned supply depot, why in the name of all that's holy does it not open, why? There has to be a way to get through that unopenable door. By gods, you're the police. <laughs> all doors are supposed to open before you, what will the others at the precinct think if you can't open a goddamn door? There must be a way. It only takes 45 minutes. It only takes 45 minutes. That's a quick one. God, at the end of the day, we're going to be so decked out. Not important right now. Okay. I'll leave it then. Um, I know I forgot you can fast travel, but I kind of like just walking. <laughs> I honestly don't mind. Oh, um. The ones that are white, I can try. Of course. Of course. I haven't been using this at all. What's wrong with me? This is, like, very useful. Um. I should be paying attention to these. Walk in, I can't. Well, whatever. <laughs> 
I guess, um... Is there anything new over here? Slash, do I... I can check the traps again? I never really used that All in my full playthroughs. And still, no... Okay. No update on, on the... in the trap realm. I'll saunter on back. Okay, I know I literally just said um, that I don't want to fast travel, but now I'm realizing that actually that would probably be quite useful. Because <laughs> uh, I do just have to like go straight back there, and it's kind of a long walk. Just completely... just don't mind me. Okay. <laughs> I'm silly. Way to compromise your ideals. <clears throat> I'll tell Lena that we put the bugs in the trap. Hello, madame. Hello, dear. It's good to see a familiar face. I restocked the trap. Thank you for doing that, dear. No problem. She manages a smile. What's wrong? Her smile is weary. Her earlier ebullience has left her. I played the entire game without realizing you could fast travel. That was pretty useful, what I just did. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Irredeemable villain, Lena. Morel still isn't feeling well. Oh, no. He's at Gary's? He's at Gary's to get some rest. I'm afraid the cold has really gotten to him. Only the hardcore players left, huh? Is she gonna think that's offensive? I don't know. Yes. Field work is a young person's game, as they say. Who's gonna check the traps? Morel will eventually, or we'll talk. The lieutenant stares at his shoe. Kate we'll take care of it. Mud. He well, doesn't I'll... say anything. One more on to the breach, then. Once more, I mean. Take it on with undue optimism. That really is too much, sweetie. Thank you for your dedication. I don't have a cough. I can see you're coming down with a cough. Very strange. Why is she not letting you do this? What the hell? It's like she's given up. Lena, what's wrong? Different. How? You've you've given up on the phasmid. Um, in <gasps> doubt, sweetie. You're in doubt? It's a uh, a strange. Do you ever wonder? No. Story. Hunching her shoulders now. She seems even smaller than she is. It can't be true! Seeing the Insulindian phasmid was just a story I used to tell people. I didn't really think about whether it was real or not. About to get a calzone? Pog? That is, do you guys... As When she said that, I was like, yeah, I completely understand, but I can't actually think of any examples. I think sometimes when you're young, you just are, like, inventing your personality, and then you just decide on, like, three different stories that you tell people about yourself, but whether or not they're actually true is not important. We do a little fibbing. Hello, Kaiki? Yeah, I just make shit up. Casuals. Morel's so proud of it. A terrible sting in the heart. Regret. I should arrest you for lying? You seemed to really believe it happened. No, sweetie. There's more to it than that. Morel was so eager to believe my story was evidence of the Phasmid's existence. That I'm some queen of the cryptozoologists. Aww. That. And for years, his belief made me believe too. She's his manic pixie dream girl. Buggy, buggy pixie bug girl. That I am a queen? An extraordinary witness to grace. Oh, wow. But now, we're both getting old and he's still working himself. The lieutenant we're gonna, f we've mind. gotta find this bug. I'm going crazy. Of course we're gonna find, right? Of course we're gonna find the bug. Oh my god. He's hiding. These things are tough well, on <laughs> Matters of love, not violence or deceit. This is a red check. I'll tell her that her marriage has not been a lie. But it has, hasn't it? No! 
A seed can only bear what's inside. The seed of love is black and oily. No! It has a taste you're quite familiar with. Might be right, Detective. I was a paraplegic before we met. He didn't know oh. before I came in. She has to swallow to relax her throat. There you it's fuck. Her from talking. Damn it. <laughs> Love's hard. It's not easy. <sighs> What you have to know is, the Insul Indian fast myth probably oh. does not exist. Are there? Some of the other things are pretty bad. To hell with this. I think you saw it. A true believer. Um, Rising. Either way, I should go. Poor Morel is running a fever and I need to get him home to Jamrock. <sighs> Before we overstay our welcome with Are you Gary. sure you don't need help? Oh no, thank you, but I can get there on my own. This old I'll check the traps power. one last time. Really? Yes! Oh, sweetie. No one can stop you from finding the phasmid. Fuck yeah. It's real to me. Can I have your address? Hey, what's your address? Okay. It's a Lena, no, they're gonna Tabernacle <laughs> Road. Jamrock, but Doxed, doxed. Aside. She doesn't think you'll need it. Conclude? Is this the last time I'm gonna talk to Lena unless I find this fucking bug? I mean, it's been a pleasure, ma'am. It's been a pleasure. Likewise, sweetie. Thank you for everything. Ah. Uh, a dream. That felt awful. A fool's hope. So like that, she drives off. The gas engine enters quietly oh as my God. she gets to the doors. Then pushes them open. Outside, it's snowing. <laughs> She's gone. She went back to her home planet. That felt we bad. Go to <laughs> Not really pleased with that one. Jesus. <laughs> she has a gas wheelchair. It's a steam train of a wheelchair. We do- we have a skill point. We could- I'll- I'll hang on to it for a second. We need to, um... I mean, let's- we need to get into the commercial area, eh? It's not a pleasing check to fail. God damn it! Hello. When I played this, I specialized in something barely used. Then there was one late game check that used it and it failed. I was so mad. That's, yeah, infuriating to be sure. It's like, yeah. I get the, the... The checks are part of the game. The failing of the checks is part of the game. Every time it happens, I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> what do you mean? I'm gonna pop all these bubbles because they give me XP. One moment. Another another boring book. Boring. Saves coming through life. Just don't fail them. Easy. I'm gonna break down this fucking door if it's the last thing I do. Don't worry about it, ma'am. Yeah, but when you successfully roll a 20% check, indeed. Merely looking at that unmanly haircut threatens your masculinity. A heavy door with a missing handle stands before you. <laughs> Plus one, one more door. Dozens, For fuck's sake, let me in. Little... I think I've got... I need pain threshold stuff. I think I've got some of that. I don't have to use pain threshold that much, actually. Yeah, give me my faun. Ooh, my scarf. Again, I'm totally kitted out. 
pain, pain, pain. Pain. Try talking to her. I could also just break down the door. <laughs> Hold on, let me see, let me see what my odds are. A heavy door with a missing handle stands before you. One second. A heavy door with a missing handle stands before you. Got right it. In dozens, if not hundreds, of little ship <laughs> trinkets and charms. It appears to Bonk. be locked. I passed it and I still you can't get in. Smash into the wood and see a small crack appear on the door. It's gonna take more than one break. You're not thinking of trying again, are you? <laughs> smash into the door and shout, "Fuck! It hurts." <laughs> Easy. Heal me. Kim. Kim wants to talk. Bent metal. Broken glass. Your path lies straight. You are the destroyer. The Fuck bane yeah. of animate matter. Gaze upon me in despair. Kudos. Imagine you died trying to open the door. Thought gained anti-object task force. Anyone up hating objects? Kim, I'm sorry you had to see that. That was embarrassing. What is this place? It's another world. No, it's a gym. Oh. Though I doubt the electricity still works. Good thing we have a flashlight on that. <laughs> I, I hate objects, I only love concepts. We move on. Women? <laughs> Some specks of dust shimmer in a f an airy feeling rises in your chest. What if there's a reason no one's been here? Yes, because it's closed. No need to look for supernatural explanations while... I guess it's true. There's gonna be so many bubbles to pop, I'm gonna farm some some XP real quick. Worn out wall bars. Ooh, my flashlight? Hello? It's dark. And the flashlight works a lot better if you hold it in your hand. Beat you to it, Kim. Flashlights go in hand? Yes, you might even call it a feature of the universe ah. that you need to hold tools to use That makes them. so much sense. Right, now let's get to it. Some areas are inaccessible. Thank you, tutorial agent. Kim still wants to speak to me? Hold on. Okay, I have my multi-tool in one hand and my flashlight giving me a high five. Gotcha. Kim's been paid off by big object. Very spooky. That is actually quite a spooky sound. Hello. A large demijohn. <laughs> You can interact with the barbell? Well, now I'm holding all this shit. Oh yeah, you can oh, You can interact with tons of stuff. Oh, I can give them the ball! Nice. A barbell lies. It's 60 kilograms. <laughs> Your tr Why does it feel so familiar? <laughs> Minus one head hurts. Is it familiar because I'm a weightlifter? No, it's not that. It's just a memory. A memory from another life. I'll give it a go. When you were young and fit. <laughs> my arm, my shoulder bones become detached from you my arms. To hoist it off the like ground, in a cartoon. But the barbell feels wobbly and dangerous. Fuck Your you! was never my favorite either. The lieutenant is handling you. At the station gym, I mean. I prefer. Well, fuck that. Actual art. I got it. Trite, contrived, mediocre, milk toast, amateurish. 
infantile, cliche and gonorrhea ridden peon to conformism. I fucked me. Affront to humanity. I fucked me. War crime. Should literally be tried for war crimes. Yeah. Resolutely shit. Yeah. Lacking in imagination. Uninformed reimagining. I'll just let him finish. Lip wristed, premature, ill informed attempt at talentless fuckfest, recidivistic shit peddler, pedantic, listless, savagely boring. Just one repulsive laugh after another. Jeez. It's another Sav book review. Conceptualization passives heal. Hands shake from anger. How shit it all is. Oh my god, I know that. I know. I know that feeling. <laughs> I don't want an art degree now. There's still time. That was my old school report. I don't think I've been in a chat where regulars get their messages deleted more often than spammers. We do things a little differently around here. Poor animals, no rest for their bodies after death. My god. Airship rotors covered in spider webs. A scary mannequin. Many scary mannequins. Naked mannequin. Blue velvet. Money. Lag. I can't see. Ooh, a cube? Production schedule filament memory, of course. Shit's expensive. Always make sure your conceptualization... Wait, make sure... Yes, has at least four and you should be drowning in XP. Um, right. That is four. I think I can, um, drape myself in the clothes of conception. Yeah, I can put my lounge jacket on. Oh, wow. <laughs> what a look. Here, wait, let me put my horrific necktie back on, obviously. I've become attached to the little fucker. Where is it? There. Now that's a statement. This game looks sick. It's really great. Thoroughly enjoying. Take. Having art the green Wompty Dompty with high intellect basically trivializes the game. I had like 10 safe skill points late game. That's interesting to me. I see some plans. Your flashlight slides over an old green chalkboard covered in scribbles. Well, I'm gonna get Wompty Dompty as well. Like some ancient cave mural. I wanna pop off. Some of these lithe, pointy-haired <laughs> creatures appear to be different types of Welkins. What is this, you some nerd shit? Autumnal, translucent Welkins, with organs shining. Who are all those creatures? Fantasies of a tortured, feverish mind? You're too dumb for Wampty Dumpty. You need high encyclopedia for Wampty. I can work on it. One of the Welkins, towering among the rest, appears to be different. However. I'll examine the Welkin. It's Vara Hamira, a high Whoa. Welkin. His face white and scarred like cracked marble. This Fuck's is a clearly Welkin. a Welkin supremacist. The note says, All the Haldor, the Tworg, the humans, and even headless men, all of them, purged. Imagine a world filled only with Welkin. Green Welkin. An inordinate amount of time has gone into drawing these little Welkin creatures. One of them is a Welkin supremacist. Mm-hmm. Political commentary. That one has a great beard, too. Streamer lacks critical Welkin information. Why would anyone spend so much time on this? Some people really like building a world, I think. Even if it's... Just look at those details. So much effort. And for what? It's like, fine. Oh, I don't... <laughs> it's like an okay drawing. With... 
Inspect the photo. The photo collage depicts barren, icy landscapes. Entire oceans have been frozen from shore to shore. There are pictures of... You see primitive oil rigs built into glaciers, albeit dark and cold. This vision also feels... Like eggnog or more. A pinned postcard reads, The heat death scenario. A desperate fight for geothermal energy engulfs the world as Wirral becomes untethered Inspect from the This is a monthly calendar from the year 50. It looks a bit like an act. Everyone is constantly teetering on the edge of the abyss. Keep an breathing. abyss. As time goes on, the numbers in the boxes grow rarer. Looks like they didn't make it. A note in the bottom left corner of the, the handwriting is only partly legible. But Oops. you can still make out three slogans. What did I do? Call in, tune out. We're all, the full text reads, Heat death of the universe is the new black. Is Another that a tweet says, by me? <laughs> the biggest advancement in role-playing systems since outside, the cold wind wraps the... Leave. Okay. Hello to this box. A dusty radio computer sleeps. Another radio computer. Just sitting here without anyone inside. This guy got bangers. This is the Ream Civic radio computer. I'm, gonna, Model I'm not going to ask. I'm just going to turn the it on. The machine lights up like some prehistoric animal stirring. Press play. Nothing happened. Something's missing. Look it, inside. It's empty like a beehive. The filament you have would fit perfectly inside the compartment. Insert. Like a smooth draw, the filament slides into place. Play. The speaker comes to life. Static seeps through the machine. He's got a gray audio book driver. voice. For An sure. old lady greets you. Her voice sounds a hundred years. Good afternoon. It's Yvonne. Please repeat. Yvonne, it's me. Good. Thank you. <laughs> she has no Please idea who I am. Is <laughs> the production schedule? Let's try the password. Good. Please repeat the password. After life death. Good. I've unlocked the production schedule. Really? She just used the same password? Maybe those radio computer guys aren't that paranoid after all. I don't know. It's not like it's not like using different passwords for your for your Neopets account and your Gaia online account, you know? They're in like different places. I think that's fine. anything else I can do for you today. That's all. Best girl. I know I love her. Whoops, what's going on? Thank That's you. All. Tiles on the cube are Print? with a quiet determination. The printer starts printing. A piece of paper Read it's it? a project report written by the lead producer. Andrew a radio Andy game. Shot. The first few pages give an overview of the capital and workforce, while the rest of it seems to be a production schedule. I'll skim through the production schedule. The production schedule depicts the glorious descent into bankruptcy. Yeah, yeah, you should always use different paths. It was impossible not to fail. The project was too large. Let and it, no the, amount of money the streamer's official the public facing opinion is that you should always team. use different passwords. Cats and dogs, one, two, three. They tried to make a four million real game with 400,000 in their bank account. It's kind of real. They thought they could bridge the gap with pure. They couldn't. If it were me, I simply would have bridged the gap. No, you couldn't have. What do you mean? Definitely I totally could. not. Not a chance. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> My thoughts are conspiring against me? Even then, success remained within an ever-narrowing margin of possibility that, despite everything, never entirely disappeared. Neopets love bug, one, two, three. That is, until they discovered the Valley of the Heads. The what? At the 11th hour, the lead designer, Jim Spawn, Suliswap Jalisa, decided that what we're out untethered needed was a secret mystical location All of this is at the extreme edge of the map. This place was to be the Valley of the Heads. This is where insane the heads of shit. All the, headless the world had never seen there so many. The last count, there were approximately 10,000 heads for 10,000 How many combinations? Do you really want to know? This seems yeah. to be a calculation. How bad there. could it be? But it... That! Ah. <laughs> well, yeah, that's quite a, quite a few. Oh. Well, yeah, that's even more. 
keep going. Surely last The one. lieutenant taps Told his you. foot impatiently. His <laughs> arms. Nope. <laughs> Kim, sorry, I wouldn't have done this if I had known. What what have I done? <laughs> the numbers never end. Counting to infinity. Yeah, it's a lot. It continue. It continues to grow. What if you broke the radio computer? What if it's never going to stop? Please stop. <laughs> zero 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 zero. And that's it. Nice. Five hundred bars. Point five seconds. Well, yeah, that and the. She's not reading the numbers. The what? On the nature of the data loss, what is clear is that one day an unidentified numeric anomaly yes, of course. occurred. On the, when the project was returned, the team spent weeks on the phone with Lintel, the service provider. But despite their diagnostics, they could never produce a satisfactory explanation. Isn't there a copy? Mysteriously enough, it seems that the offside the copy never the happened to never be once. It was the lead programmer's responsibility to S. Lukanen Kilda, the lead programmer of Fortress Accident. I didn't have a home anymore, this, um, so I started keeping it in the basement. I, I find this a little boring. <laughs> It was perfectly safe there. The temperature conditions were optimal. This part loses me a little. I don't know why. Um. Agreed. I'll just keep going. <laughs> the production schedule ends with a few random notes that seem to be added sometime Read later. Read the notes at the end. Four months later, by an unknown author. I am the only one left, and it's gotten rather damp here. A few other businesses have gone. Still haven't got an answer from Linda about Oscar. what happened. All I could get were the physical coordinates yeah, it seems, of the error. Yeah, it seems. like it sounds like a personal problem. On that day, <laughs> since the computation <laughs> happened on air, I it was the impression it had to I get. I bet if you were like a part of the inside baseball lore of it, you'd think this was like really fun. But since I don't know really what they're talking about, I'm like, sounds crazy. I'm sorry that happened to you. I have compared the coordinates to a map of yeah, like who even West. cares about video games? Turns out it's only 800 <laughs> meters from here. Nerd the shit. Devs trauma dumping. One four seven. I am going there to look this thing in the eye. Who asked? One one four seven. Tires okay. on the cube are still smoldering, sure. casting the framework in a soft glow. Fluorescent play and print keys shine on the keyboard. Give me the cube. The filament slides out. Leave. All right, I'll do I'll do my due diligence. This old fireplace is covered in a diagram for some of the whole thing. Esoteric symbols. Adrian mosaic tiles. How do I know what they look classes, like? Student what am I radio looking frequencies. At? It seems unclear. It looks like a cardiovascular this system. This is art. You think so? Yeah. The web is comprised of radio stations, all lead back to one. I can't believe this game is a documentary. The game looks like a surveillance program. They must have had massive air width. These things Who's don't the game someone master? very important. The leader of a mass a conductor for the hundreds of story threads. I'm farm and XP man. decides to call a list of names under Just the give stations. it to me. All of this is gone. Left unreal. There's no way a little My god. It's as if the less money they had, the more ambitious their project became. The cost of the air width alone must have been huge. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking exactly. about. Exactly. This schedule, I know. What else? Nothing. It's just. It is hot today, isn't it? Okay. What do you think is going on? Is that well, this is what remains of her fireplace. radio game studio. Yes, I got that. What I meant was, what were their ambitions? He has respect and curiosity for the this is way above your tiny little policeman head what the heck i am an artist okay well i think like he's ready to lay out it looks like one of those popular pen and paper utter madness he thinks as a compliment a role-playying game this is so inside baseball cool. 
Not like I would have done the same thing. This is when NL starts Canada posting. Hey, you guys want to talk about anything else? It's okay, I like this bear fridge. I'm only not shocked by the bear fridge because I've seen it before. But that was pretty fun. A thick layer of cold dust covers the furnace. Looks like this furnace has a face. And it's a face of agony. I'm gonna look inside the it's furnace. It's dark and grimy here. The echo is so prominent. What are you doing? I'm hallucinating. Wait, really? <laughs> Take your it feels safe to know that the lieutenant's got Aww. your back now and always. He's got my back. This sounded real, not imagined. Smear your hands with coal. A lush layer of coal. You feel the spirit of Ramut Karazai, ancient hero. Yeah. Pulsing through you. <laughs> let's not express ourselves. Let's just wipe our hands clean on our pants. Hello, Lormantis. Three dangerous stripes appear onto your cheeks, telling stories of your wild soul. Damn, I loved the Fortress Accident plot haters. <laughs> Not to take the steam away from anyone who enjoys it. What? What are you doing? I've mentioned this before. I don't do well with the the heavy exposition sections. I get a little lost. I'm the reincarnation of a warrior. Please wipe your face clean, officer. Sorry. No. That was You're embarrassing. You're a proud warrior. All right. Keep I it. won't wipe it. These three strikes <laughs> strengthen this dangerous realm. Poet hates it reading. Would be foolish to remove them. <laughs> We're exploring this dark place, and I need the protection my war paint affords. And this protects you. It gives me confidence, and that's all that matters. Kevin. Okay, sure. Go ahead. I'm gonna kick this. Ow! <laughs> Owie! Leave. No more. The wall collapsed. Bear fridge. You see a terrifying ice bear with a strange compartment. This ice bear is a hyper carnival. Oh my god. Be careful. It's gonna. Eat this me? must be the giant ice a gust of freezing cold air right. the lieutenant takes a peek inside his hand has found the holster of why is he gun. so why is he so jumpy relax honey it's a fridge of course just a giant oh yeah i'm out of shape. i'm out of health just realized i died to a mailbox yeah hold on let me save let's take a look inside after this the shelves are empty all you see are crumpled ice cream wrappers with but where's the filament memory? It's not yeah. there. Where's the filament memory? Someone must have taken it. Take the note. You pocket the note and the little fridge magnets. Keep Examine the ice cream. Cartoon bear. The paper still smells of vanilla and chocolate. Good question. It looks. I know. What in? What is even worse? The bear. The fridge buzzes with energy. Fuck objects. Yeah, it's like a book. And in fairness, I get bored when books info dump on me as well. Not a big deal. Why am I, why is my arm? <laughs> why, why he moving like that? Um, let me read the note. Save, save. Well, as a note, note's not gonna kill me. The note Maybe. is written with a blue pencil on a piece of lined office paper. Does it say anything interesting? This is tangential at best. But the read. Loop, someone has scribbled. S. I can't believe the off-site copy is still here. Steal Kuno keeps tinder, stealing keep, stuff. You find the filament memory with the off-site copy in the frozen ice cream maker. Does Kuno have Please it? Please take it home, ASAP. It's important. 
I do it my Sulislav. Wasn't he one of Miss Lucan and Kilda's co workers? I remember coming across this name. What's a film in memory? inside a radio computer, nah. storing its memory. It's like the production schedule you found. Really? You don't have a single guess? Well, it's cool now. Oh, I'm sure that child would love to get his hands on the filament memory. I don't know. The frozen ice cream I assume maker. It's so Put it away. Okay, let me save. <clears throat> Can't believe they called Kuno illiterate. Scouse discrimination. He's investigating the murder on the dance floor. Keep it moving. An ice cream maker. A hidden doorway. Two rusty rifles? Busted a bunch of guns in the ceiling? Gun room? A few bricks have fallen off, revealing a couple. There are Seems we? like an old bunker from the ramp. There is, yes. And there also appears to be something inside the hole. Yeah. Your hand look reaches in the hole. deep into darkness. Rifles, Kim. Are these any good? Well, let me inspect them. Most of them are rusty. What if we kissed in the rifle cupboard? Like the rest. But one catches your eye. A bolt action model with a fine wood stock. In better cosmetic order than the... Take it. You're a police officer. Fuck yeah. These officers carry guns. Damn straight they do. That's a rare sight. Seems to no longer be functional, but still a beautiful thing in its own way. Pawn? Isn't this the same gun? Oh, isn't this the gun that fired the fatal bullet? It's the same type of weapon, yes. A breech loader. Oh, damn it. But it's not the same gun. That would have been cool. This one's been out of order for years. I'm afraid what does this mean? For the real model. It means there are firearms, breech loaders, still left. He likes this fight. Men are easily swayed by the sight of a rifle indeed. He likes my find. The highest praise. Let me check it out. Not in tools. Pretty cool. Big enough to kill an elephant. This is the gun that killed Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> Ice cream maker shelf with some treats for me. This orange machine is buzzing like an old submarine. Jeez. It has a hand cranked ice cream. Not even close. Let me do all this. Two cables are plugged into the brick. That's fine. Open. Ooh. Insane mesh tank top? Can you use a crowbar or something? I also, um... Got a bit of health back, thanks fuck. I think I've got some physical instruments. Close, unplug it. Two cables are plugged into the breaker box. The plug something the black cable. Close to Very smart. Opening the lid should be. Thank you, Kim. It was all my idea. This orange machine is dead still. Hold on. It ha hold on, hold on. <laughs> I'm doing this now. <laughs> it was Cinnabar's idea. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Physical. <laughs> that is a cool tank top. Mania, drama, clinically insane. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Okay, hold on one second. I'm gonna go pee again and run a little ad and then... Oh my gosh. Literally my summer drip. It's got a little Urban Outfitters fit. Okay. Hold on one sec. I'll be right back.
Hallo. I'm a pulp girl. I do OJ with pulp. It's like a drink and a snack. At the same time. Physical instrument clothes. That's what I was doing. Scatter. No, come back. L take? What the fuck? So just my- I know I have a physical instrument tank top. Of course. And um, that's minus two physical instruments. Not my tempo. And then I think I can have some kind of drug. Physique. Can I have some of this? I'm out of health boosts though. So everyone say a prayer for me. See a number man? Oh, it just damages your morale. I'm fine. Hello, this Pickering. orange machine is dead still. It has a hand crank ice cream churner. Turn Turning the crank. the crank is all gone now. You'll never become a poet or an entrepreneur. Oh. What better to assuage the creeping sense of fa- You slip your fingers under the frozen lid, but the ice is too cold. You didn't so mad. I have the tool. I swear I'm holding the it. -tool by going <laughs> to the tools. What the fuck? Am I not holding it anymore? I'm not. I see. I put it back to hold my alcohol. Do we have an idea about what a cryptozoologist is? Who's gonna tell him? This orange machine is dead still. It has an ice groans in the house. Got it. The strain of your giant convulsed multi tool until the lid cracks. Open. I know the tutu. <laughs> I can't talk. Tutorial. The tutorial lady so immersion breaking. Darkness lies inside, but you can faintly make out an object. Disappointment washes over you as you stare into no the ice cream. A scoop of ice cream would have been nice, yes. Oh, uh, someone's stomach grumbles, it's Kim. We want ice cream so bad. You gently lift the cube from its frosty bedding. Kim we should take it back to Miss nice. Lucan and kill the Yes, but aren't you curious? Oh yeah, I am curious. I wouldn't mind knowing. Proceed, I guess. Oh, that just takes us outside. Right. Um, okay. Take me back inside. Rats. Oh, there's stuff down here. Some cold hard cash. <laughs> Cryptozoologist is a zoologist that takes care of Bitcoin animals. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, the bug just shook. And it was a storm of hair. I need to brush you, huh? Um, well, yeah, I want to find out what's on the filament. I'll go facilitate that. Hello. Tiles on the cube are still small, like a smooth drawer. The filament slide. Print. Nothing happens. Play. The speaker comes to life. Good afternoon. Please repeat. Is this the offsite copy? I might have a password for the offsite copy. Good. Please repeat the password. It's the same no, password. That's not <gasps> it. What does she mean? That's, that's not, it? not it. What could it be? Maybe 
It's the second part of the light motif you saw on the stained of glass. Of course. Window. My birthday. Good. I've unlocked the offset. Kaching. Kaching. Godres accident. That's all. Thank you. And Thank you, Yvonne. Tiles You're a good woman. Are, it sounds Print? like something cracks before the piece of paper starts filling up. Something's broken. With pure black Machines ink. Machines aren't supposed to behave like this. Ew. The filament slides out. Of That's it. kind of spooky. I will go talk to the dice girl. I remember being bored by our conversation the first time. An iron safety curtain. Didn't read the printout? It said it was black. Fold. <laughs> this is directly above the central furnace in the cellar. Didn't say it was black. I can just sell these. <laughs> black ink in your area. Sorry, my emojis. Bored by Dice Girl? I don't know what to say. <laughs> Shoes. Sav so doesn't tabletop. You have to do password then play print. I did! Password then, oh, password then, play then, print. Do I? Hold on. I'll do it. Just to say that I did. Sell key Tiles plot items key for maximum capitalist story. run. Like a smooth draw, the speaker comes to life. No, you press play. You give the password to Yvonne. It's this. Good. She's unlocked it. Continue. Off. Thank you. Continue. Cube, Print. It sounds like something. It's black. Before the piece of paper starts filling. Something Don't ever through. fucking doubt me ever again. I've had enough of this shit. <laughs> grab it after grab what? What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm going crazy. Tiles on the cube are still <laughs> casting the framework in a soft glow. Fluorescent play and print. Read it. The paper is soaked with ink. All right. It's monochrome darkness spanning yep. from margin to margin. There's something it's there. It's not possible to make out. Odd. Something is obviously broken. Sorry. Here. I'd like to a apologize. A speck of white shines out from the shade. For some reason, the print of this marked by the devil itself. It's marked by the devil itself. Looks like gibberish. Better get running here. It's in wingdings. Tiles on the cube are still. The filament slides out of its glowing nest. <laughs> One off snake eyes. I will accept your apology. <laughs> sorry, sorry everybody. Did I, I'll make sure, did I take, um, took it with me? Yep, got it. As before, this is directly a Hello. bottom odd thing to do. Hello. Still nothing. Hello. No Those curtains ah. prove to be surprisingly sturdy. There must be another way to wake up whoever is in. All right. Enemy of the physical realm, bang up five inanimate objects. <laughs> Damn straight. You just had a phone guy moment. Get me out. Okay, I need to go talk to bookshop lady. Basically on a crusade, disrespect your surroundings. It's incredible given how like limited my physical capacities are as well. I'm so weak and I'm just hitting shit. Hello, that place is crazy. I come out, look how fucked up I am. <laughs> I come out looking like this. I'm like, ugh, there's ghosts in there. You broke down the back door. I'm sorry. But I suppose it's all over now. It's just a door. Like just a door? This place is cursed, detective. They don't call it the doomed commercial. I hope you're happy now. 
Happy that you've ruined everything. She hates me. Now that you've broken the door. Host almighty, she prays. Guard me and my honest business venture from Sorry. Of course you didn't. You're nothing but a policeman. All right. You know what? I'm willing to let you investigate uh. the doomed commercial <laughs> area. We are set on the facade uh. has dropped. But before we go on, tell me, did you encounter the malignant entity? I sensed her presence. You did? Then it has to be true. I've suspected that this woman-shaped energy must be connected to the curse. I heard voices. Yes, I've heard that. It's enormous. Some unnatural magic, I assume. You should go find the entity and... If you're really interested in cracking this mystery... Despite his call, the lieutenant's interested in solving this mystery, too. Okay. We'll go... We can go do that, and that'll be the last thing we do today. I will speak to the dice girl. Since everyone loves her so much... I'll go talk to her. An actual cryptid, yes. We need to go back to the furnace. It said. Which is like all the way over here. She's not moved by your bias. <laughs> Dice girl! Your simps are here. They want to see you! A thick layer of cold dust. Hello! Furnace, coloring it. Pitch. Something <laughs> breaks loose in you. Hello? Ooh. You've Hi. awakened the entity. Answer me, spirit. Hello? Did you say anything? You hear a low. After you, officer. All right. We're going. Jeez, what's with this attitude? We're almost four hours in. <laughs> <laughs> I think you need to respect us a bit more. I'm twirling my hair. <laughs> Hello, madame. I'll put my flashlight away. Sorry, this is rude of me. She's jealous. <laughs> Why do you guys like her so much, huh? Hello, I'm Nia. Hi, Nia. Did you try knocking on my window? I must have missed you. I've been listening to my Milius. Your Milius? So what kind of die are you looking for? Could this be the malicious entity? Perhaps it's wise to go What are Milius? Yes, a Milius is like a call-in station. You need a two-way radio to access one. That's why I have these. <laughs> Equals two. <laughs> Mostly, they just teach you to no swear in different languages. <laughs> but some of the stations can be quite interesting. I was so absorbed. I must have missed you knocking. I haven't knocked on your window. Then how did you get inside? Yeah, maybe you want to watch her streams, huh? You know what? It doesn't even matter. What matters is that you're finally here. Let's talk dice. Did you have Why are you asking specific? me I'm about a dice? I'm dice maker. Of course. Tell me the name of your role-playing system and I'll make the die you need. As she speaks, her bone-like fingers fiddle with her ring. You guys like, you like bone-like fingers? But her hands strong. I've got... Different ones. Role-playing games? You know the one made by Fortress Accident. Sure. This I also have some dice. Very good. My rate is 10 real per set. Take a look around and see Do if I get some any dice? particular stone. It almost looks as if the stones and dice are a natural part of the room. <laughs> Tell me the name of your of role playing like system. Stalagmites. This person means you or no one else. Absolutely. Okay. Of course. Tell me what you have in mind. I want, um. I don't know. What do you guys want? I mean, I, I sort of want a, something cursed or the most extraordinary. Start with six. I think I have just the right one for you. Police colors. <laughs> oh, because I'm a cop. Not the most original, I know. But sometimes the obvious choice is obvious because it's best. Here, catch. Oh. Is there a gift for me? Oh, please catch it. Please catch it. Mr. Smooth. Yes. 
You snatch the dice out of the air with one hand, just like you're in a movie. I'm just gonna act. Didn't. Mm. I'll wink. Oh, what are the odds? Aww. The she winks back at me. Okay, I like her. Relay, and I like her as well. Is the inverse. I believe these dice are your lucky charm, officer. Okay, I get it. She winked back at Ohio you. Ridge. Can you believe it? Mr. You Smooth Moves. You definitely need lucky martinez. Was there anything else? How'd you become a dice maker? How did I become one? It was a business decision. I was a regular jeweler at first. But that some of my friends were role players. They asked me to make some polyhedron. Do you dice like role playing cobalt. games? That Self insert important. character? Not especially. I like working oh, with never very mind. Cute She's thankful for the security they provide her. Do you know about the man? Nothing really. Who cares about the dead body? We might be dealing with the lieutenant looks. Your window looks directly onto the court. I'm sorry, detective, but as you know, I usually just like have a my single girl challenge impossible. It shuts out most of the daily ruckus behind my window. What do you mean daily well, ruckus? There's always some during daytime there are usually those kids. She's not sorry to disappoint you. But I never saw anyone during that fateful Sunday night, I'm afraid. No West doesn't pass the vibe check. I might have, but in this case, all I would have. it's really hard to make anything out in the yard when it's This person values focus above all. It's an odd profession. Making dice for people. She See. nods. Anything else, officer? Hey, where are we? We're inside the chimney of an old central furnace. It's strange, I know. Kuno West is a thing. <laughs> but when I arrived oh, here, God. all the other rooms were taken. Placence was right. There's an entity living in the chimney. You create here. What do you know about the curse? I've heard the stories. But I don't think those stories are true. The bookshop lady sent me. Sounds, the bookshop lady? I've heard that her business is doing rather well. Have the energy spared? Oh, oh right. But it's not just the bookstore that... Whirling is part of the running. doomed commercial area? That's so. why Gart needs Both my cash so bad. Built at the same time and under the east of the Commerce Central project. I guess, the, I mean, they're not doing well either. And then there is me. I've been here for 14 years. Selling novelty dice to role playing. It's because and she's so perfect. It's because she's in cahoots with the demons. Or that. <laughs> she thinks it's because you're in cahoots with Malignant the demons. Entity? What is that if? The jig is up. The she demon knows you've uncovered her truth. Time has come <laughs> to face the source. Half light, calm Fear down. For the forces of the universe are supporting you in this psychic. I'm gonna quest. narrow my eyes very mysteriously. <laughs> So I'm the Grand Dragon in the cave. Might I ask what supports this claim? There's something ghostly about Ethereal? you. Ethereal? <laughs> Thank you. That but was I think cute. It's just the lighting. Uh huh. God forbid a woman has hobbies. No, it's the troubled color of her energetic vibrations. I sense tragedies in your past, darling. Of course you do. Show me a person in Martinez if you ever find a way to explain all those. Plaisance needs to hear about this. Perhaps if you combine your psychic energies, you will make sense of the situation. Shivers, huh? You're so in. I'm actually blushing. I'll give it a go. Give me my finest shivers clothes, which I will find by examining everything I own one by one. Shivers, shivers, shivers. Shivers. Dice maker at the top of the simp pyramid. Shiver me timbers, my lady. <laughs> what a task this is. Shivers t shirt. We're golden. All right, put me back in. Oh my gosh, she's got my headphones. <laughs> oh, it's you again. Are you looking for a die? A gust of cold air sweeps through the chimney. Hey, I figured it out. Didn't we already talk about this? It's because you're 
it's it's because of a technicality. What are you talking about? My address is exactly the same. You're loyal Blue to Silver Jumpsuit Lady. I still like Joyce, man. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> she makes me kind of nervous. No, the old coal plant that used to be here was some. This is the coal into. plant. This doesn't make any sense. Are you saying my business was spared because of a technicality? I have unusual Where is methods. This coming from? Mine is two that cannot be true. And what? Does it mean that I'm safe from failure? Excuse me, ma'am. I must look through my whole wardrobe, strip, and redress before we can finish Don't the conversation. Don't let become complacent. She still needs to ward her soul. You should still do something to defend your she person. She starts laughing. Her fingers. What? Do you know what this is? Your lucky charm. It's a morning ring. I made this when my first company failed. It no. was a small. I drove it into the ground within a year. I didn't have what you. Why are you telling me? It wasn't me just this? a jewelry shop either. And now you're telling me what? That it was all because I didn't run my little shops and ventures. It's nice them? in here. Yeah. Or maybe it's the entire world that's cursed. That's why people like role playing games. You can be whoever you want to be. You so can try. true. It's like every time you cast a die. So but true. Anyway, Thanks Thought for gained the precarious world. More or less. Might as well Rats scuttle in the dark rooms. Oh gosh. Under the abandoned blow dryers and dusty mannequins. I don't really feel like Good. doing this right now. <laughs> <laughs> we can revisit that. You should order a die as well. Got two skill points. Still skill points on deck. I'll get the oh, cursed die. You again. I like you to order can, a die. Of course. Tell me cursed? what do you mean by cursed? Uh this one? Alright. Oh, How about I surprise you? It's a deal. Oh, great. See you in eight hours then. Eight hours is all it takes, huh? Oh, I can go to my, my crazy meetings and then come back and pick up my die. Um cute. These two 20-sided dice have the colors of a police alarm. If you roll them and squint your eyes, it looks like you're arriving on the scene. Ooh, it opens white checks. Cute. She probably closes before then. Well, she doesn't live here. Okay. Oh, I need my... I, I'm like, why can't I see anything? <laughs> it gives you a plus one bonus on those checks. Here, I'll just... I'll, we can start next time from here. Um, okay. I'm gonna end it for today. That was fun. Again, got a lot done. Have a clear path of success for next time. Two skill points in the, in the back pocket. Kim wanted to talk because I didn't have my flashlight equipped. He wanted to tell me that it was dark. I think. Um. Yeah. Good sesh. How, um, Colacanth? Church time next time. Indeed. What, um, how much do I, how much is left? Am I, like, like, halfway? I found it, I'm finding it difficult to pace. Yeah, fun stream. Good game. I'll save. About halfway. That's crazy. Cinnabar says two thirds. Two thirds. All right. So we are going to finish it eventually. Um. Okay, cool. I'll be back on... I won't see you over the weekend. I'll be back on Monday for standard writing sesh. Ooh, fun fact, colacanth in Spanish is pronounced celicanto. That is a fun fact. I can only hope getting there. <laughs> All right. Have a nice weekend. I'll see you on Monday. 
Goodbye, bozos. Peace and love. Bye.